Hello, and welcome to the Stream of Chaos. <laughs> My name is Dave, and I'll be your Keeper of Arcane Lore for this session of Call of Cthulhu. Today we are continuing our campaign with Session 2 of the Two-Headed Serpent. We'll only get to do that once. That was fun, wasn't it? Thank you for being here with us. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, maybe we get to 22. That'll be good too. Uh, <laughs> We've got to get to 22 now. We have to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can get your own copy of this campaign in both physical and digital formats from chaosium.com. Uh, as always, we will be streaming live each Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific over on the Chaosium Twitch channel. So if you want to join us, come over and hang out and chat with us. And uh, all videos are then uploaded across to the Chaosium YouTube channel after a few days. Uh, and we have, uh, it's not really recently anymore, but we have kicked off a Discord server where you can sort of hang out with us, chat, and theorize about where things are going next. Um, I'd also like to thank Roll20 and Sirenscape for being great tools which we use to improve our games. And without further ado, let's hop back in and meet our heroes. So it's been a long night of keeping watch and waiting for rendezvous. Uh, three of you are camping in one of the uh, tents that you've taken over from the aid workers, uh, while Dr. Samuel Taylor Thompson is over in one of the medical tents, uh, sitting, half sleeping and waiting for one of the boy, a boy who was wounded uh, to wake. Uh, when we pick back up, Lieutenant Carter, there was a sound you heard in the night and uh, Wilhelmina St. Clair, you heard scratching and an ominous message delivered. Lieutenant Carter, when you stepped around the tent, you found a body crumpled up against the wall, uh, dead and with blood dripping down. And you quickly roused uh, both Hubert Smith and uh, Minnie uh, to take a look. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Dr. Samuel T Thompson, uh, as you blink back awake, the lights are all on inside and you can hear quiet muttering. A gathering of nurses and doctors are around the boy's bed and as you begin to pick yourself up and walk over to them, you can see that he is awake and speaking. I'll ask each of you to please introduce your heroes in this fresh new context. Art, why don't you go ahead and begin? Hi, I'm Art and I'm playing Lieutenant Ares Carter. Um... <laughs> Yes, please salute. Uh, Carter is uh, a ex-military officer turned mercenary. They are uh, incredibly tactically minded, um, incredibly with it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and I think we, we probably find them situated kind of standing somewhat, you know, uh, like, it's, I, I've lost the words I need to describe what I'm doing. Standing over the body, c looking it over in this sort of detective way of like, what happened mm -hmm. here? What's going on? Uh, they're still sort of, um, actually would have, would have been like relatively cool overnight, yeah? Yeah. Cooler yeah. at least. So, Cooler, yeah. So they they've you know back into sort of like their more standard, uh, um, like black coat, and yeah, have all their equipment on them, um, and they are currently sort of their their face is lit from below slightly by the glow of the end of a cigarette as they sort of you know, have a look at the scene in front of them, um, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, elsewhere in the uh, the tent, as Dr. Sam begins to stir awake, can you introduce us to our uh, pilot slash doctor slash etc.? Hey, <laughs> I'm Jackson. I'm playing slash etc. Dr. Samuel Taylor Thompson, <laughs> who has got a lot going on. This character is overcooked, and I'll be the first to admit that. <laughs> Uh, he has fallen asleep um, in his aviator's jacket, um, goggles dangling from, uh, from, from his head, stethoscope around his neck, uh, and uh, falcon curled up, head under wing, on a perch nearby. Aww. Good dog. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, uh, he shuffles himself awake and uh, brushes the sleep from his mustache. <laughs> And oh no! <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll 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 stir and stretch up, stretch stretch out his his cramped body as he checks the vitals of this poor young lad lying in bed. 
Fantastic. So you head across to join the nurses and doctors and conduct your own tests to make sure the boy is working. Uh, elsewhere, uh, sorry, I guess back with uh, Lieutenant Carter. Um, James, could you introduce us to Mr. Smith? Absolutely, yes. Hubert Smith is an absolute giant of a man, uh, incredibly tall, incredibly large, incredibly muscular, and he's sleeping on a tiny little one of those kind of gurney beds that has been creaking under his enormous frame. As he is stirred and risen, he will leap to his feet. He's wearing specially made pyjamas with stripes on them that he's brought all the way from America in like a, a bag that he pulls out whenever he needs to go to sleep, and he will hurry over... Um, you know, feet slapping against the ground to uh, uh, glance back and forth. He's a dilettante, but he's a dilettante who's the size of a truck. <laughs> Love it. So you stand there in your jimmies. Winner. That's me. All right. Uh, lastly, uh, Alex, could you please introduce Minnie? Hi, I'm Alex, uh, and I'm playing Wilhelmina St. Clair, who uh, is a librarian, scholar, uh, adventurer, all good things. Uh, she is currently quite wasted, uh, mm. a, a little bit, more than a little bit tipsy, actually. She is, she is drunk enough to not really worry too much about the horrors from beyond uh, and is currently uh, with an ear pressed to the canvas, not sure what the hell is going on, but it doesn't sound good. That's right. So you were uh, you heard the strange and ominous message delivered during the night, and then once silence fell, uh, Lieutenant Carter came shortly after to rouse you. Uh, and now you stand realizing that a corpse is laying up against the side of it. So as we pick back up um, with Carter, uh, Hubert and Minnie, um, the body slumped up against the side is one of the aid workers. It's the nurse, Sergio, who you met earlier, Minnie, and who was supposed to come for a meeting with you. Uh, he's clearly been sanguinated, basically. The throat's been uh, sl uh, slit and you can see that like now sort of you know beginning to crust and harden blood is drenched down the front of his shirt he slumped up against the side of the canvas leaving leading uh forcing it to sort of bow down slightly uh and there's uh sort of a jacket pulled across him warmer than the traditional one they wear and it's just been sort of jammed over his scrubs uh and he's wearing uh boots that you might wear if you wanted to go out in like beyond the camp they're sort of a bit more sturdier than what you would need for just traveling around the uh, uh between tents at this point can i get everyone to please make a sanity roll for perceiving the corpse no better way to start a session of call of cthulhu than with one of these so except sam if arrived on the scene <laughs> Uh, no, you're you're going to be okay. uh, elsewhere Very just good. for the moment, at least. Very good. I have seen this before. Oh. Times. <laughs> there was a fumble. I guessed it. Good so, thing I'm drunk. <laughs> genuinely. So, uh, Hubert, can you please take a point? And right. uh, Minnie, it would only. It's going to be just one point, which I'm just going to tally up against your drunken score, and we'll deal with that later uh, once you sober up. <laughs> If we are standing around the body and we can act, I Absolutely. will... Oh, uh, I'm going to just vomit a little bit. Uh, fair enough. Uh, I, I'm, I'm drunk. Will... Th that's how I'm dealing with my sanity. It's, it's, I'm just going to turn it to... I think that's fair. Uh, I, I like the idea that Carter just, like, hears it, kind of... Uh, and is just like, yep, that's an appropriate reaction to have to see a dead body for the first time. Enjoy. Oh, well, not for the first time, but this drunk... Um, Soldiers, I assume, have done worse when seeing their, you know, when seeing dead bodies, so, uh, yeah. uh, I uh, presume my immediate reaction is to go, um, oh my god, we, we, we have to get Dr. Sam! I'll, I'll bring him to the doctor! And reach down to try and pick up the body um, and make clear that I'm go planning to move it and tear into the aid camp yelling for Dr. Sam. Great. Uh, here. Oh dear, uh, oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's not oh, no. touch the body just oh. yet. Why would oh. we touch the body? Okay, well, uh, I, we can get, we should, should I get the doctor then? I think we can save this man. Hubert? He's not Hubert, coming he's, back. He's, he's nearly decapitated. His head is, his head is not. Well, I thought the last time the problem was that he was, maybe this time's, okay, all right. He's gone. She's gonna like nudge Sergio with my boot and go, generally speaking, when someone has lost that amount of blood. I thought she said not to touch the body. Bad. Don't move the body. Oh. Okay, well, um. Mm. 
Yes. Well, then we need to give. We we who, need to go get Sam. Okay, I'll go get what? Sam. Whoever did this could still be around. Yes. And you'll note that, like, I have both my knife slightly out of its sheath and the gun, it, like, holster is unclipped. I'm, I'm not currently holding anything, but it is very clear that I am very, like, something moves. Okay. They're okay. getting a bullet. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get my books and my pistol. <laughs> Do you run back into the tent? I run out into the middle of the campsite, feet <laughs> slapping in the mud, uh, tearing towards the fine Dr. Sam. Okay. And left side of say? I want to look over this body and try and work out, is this a clean cut? Is it a messy one? Is mm -hmm. it, uh, is there a, you know, um, can, I mean, I want to look at the body and I want to listen. I want to see if I can hear anything from the surrounding jungle. Okay. Noted. All right. Uh, did you want to clarify something, Jackson? Uh, as an audience member, I'm fascinated by Hubert's relationship with death. I feel <laughs> like, do you have like a pet or something? He's <laughs> always just sleeping and he, he carries that with him for the rest of his life? <laughs> well, you know, I think, I think, uh, I, I, you know, Really, Jackson, I discover the character as I go. If, if, if. Oh, it's, del if, it's if, delightful. If he lets me know. I'll <laughs> no, I, just, I just thought it was really, really funny. If, if, like last time when he's like, it's okay, he's not it's dead. Fine, it's fine. Yeah. Again. <laughs> we get the to real... Hubert's house and it's just like all these taxidermy pets that he greets like they're still alive. I was thinking the mother that he's mentioned. It's <laughs> 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 the immediate one that no. comes to mind. <laughs> Look for Sam, I need you. Oh, you a bit of psycho in there. Fuck, oh, that's God. absolutely Hello, pretty mother. funny. Yeah. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh, the sun's beginning to rise and you can hear people stirring elsewhere. Um, as everyone uh, separates to gather some gear um, or examine the body further, let's touch in with Dr. Sam. Uh, so me. as you begin to stir and blink the sleep from your moustache, <laughs> uh, you push yourself out of your chair and join the gathered uh, nurses around the boy's bed. Uh, Dr. Anahi, Zavaltarelli, the woman that you were speaking with last night who was watching over the child with you, is taken lead over everything. And she's standing with sort of one of those official-looking clipboards, uh, marking down um, uh, notes as she talks to the boy in sort of calm and, and repeating tones. A couple of nurses are gathered nearby, and one of them has peeled back gauze on this quite strange and nasty wound that stretches across his chest, abdomen, and up sort of under one armpit. Again, it sort of looks like a really nasty friction burn, as if a like a strap of rubber was wrapped around it and then torn away in one uh, motion, leaving sort of like blisters and tears in the skin and the muscle underneath. Uh, the child does not look well. He's a young boy, maybe 12, with um, brown curly hair and wide eyes that are now beginning to look around in a mixture of terror and also drug-induced drowsiness. He's not all with it. Uh, he's muttering, mumbling something in Spanish, uh, and uh, Dr. Salvatorelli is repeating in kind. Uh, when you come up, she will say to you, he's, he's, he's woken, um, he's confused, he's not exactly sure where he is. We're just um, telling him that everything's going to be all right. Um, he's... Uh, she takes you to the side a little bit. He's 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 not well though. Um, if there's anything you can do to help, um, now is now would be the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a go. Hey, thank you. Um, she steps to the side and lets you come forward. Uh, as you see the boy, he looks up at you, says something in Spanish, and reaches out a hand to take yours. Oh, it's all his. He sort of holds it. onto it, and he continues to talk. She says. He says he, 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 he saw something, some, some kind of monster out there. It, it rose out, out of the, the water, I, I, I think. It, it, it came at him quickly. He, he doesn't know what it was. He's saying demon something, mm. protector. Um, well, that's all right, mate. You're, uh, you're safe now, so... It's out there. You're in here. All these friendly people and, and, and doctors are going to help you. So nothing bad is going to happen now. Hey, can you make a can you make a charm roll for me, please? To base like I think it's like kind of soothing, right? Ooh, 
I'm more pers I've put a lot of points persuade because I find the logic in the situation. I am pretty sure it that. is out there, and you are in here. You know? <laughs> I think this is more charming. This is more just getting across like your tone. Yeah. I'm also, if you want to roll, if you want this to be your medical practice, I'm fine with being yeah, medicine as well I or can, psychoanalysis. I can if you see have, that. Do you have any psych to try and like just uh, chill them? No. If I, if, I, if I can bluff some medicine, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I did not hear. I, I, think you said, I think you said chill him. David, I heard kill him, and I went, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a turn. Okay. This is a regular. Uh. Yeah, you sort of, you, you're trying to calm him, but the language barrier for one, and also he seems to be getting more earnest as he's talking. He's gripping quite tightly your palm now, and you can feel it sort of clammy with sweat. He's blinking uh, awake, trying to sort of shake off the, the stupor and pull himself up. He winces in pain as he pulls himself up using your own hand, and uh, Dr. Salvatorelli says, no, 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 you need to you need to rest. You need to you need to, to sleep. Uh, she tries to like, push him back down, but he's looking at you now, and rapid fire Spanish coming out. Uh, Dr. Salvatorelli is beginning to lose it. She goes, he's just, he's just repeating himself. It's something, he, he's worried that's coming for him. No, listen, can we get a nurse? Uh, and she's going to like signal for more for the boy to be drugged again and sent back under. Um, what is your reaction, Dr. Sam? Uh, well, no, hold, hold, hold on. Just, a, just, just, just a minute. We're, try to let him, get, let him get it out of his system for a bit. All right. Just, just, let, let him feel like he's like he said enough. All right. Just, he just needs to, he needs to sleep. Bit. He's, he's in pain. He's, he's hurting himself. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh. all right. I'm gonna fix him with a with a with a stare until he like takes a breath, and go. Hey, all these people here, we're here to stop the bad things. So you can sleep. And we're gonna get it done. Uh, Dr. Salvatorelli repeats it to him. He looks between the two of you, and just as this happens, uh, the tent does widen, and a shadow falls on the scene as Dr. Hubert walks in. Ah, it's the demon! Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, did I say Dr. Hubert? Mr. Smith. <laughs> None of that was right. <laughs> None of that. All of that was right. Uh, Hubert I thought has... I'd been promoted. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Lieutenant Dr. Hubert Smith. <laughs> now I've gotten every other job in my past. <laughs> um... Hubert, as you come in, you can see like the crowd gathered around it. Uh, Sam is clearly working as you come in. Um, Dr. Sam, do you want to go ahead and give me that persuasion roll? Is that the angle? Uh, yeah, if I may be so bold. Go for it. Uh, it is going to be. It is going to be with a. Yeah, uh, take it with a penalty dice, given the language barrier and through someone. That's fine. That's ah. fine. It's just a kid. He can sleep. That said, you do have you do have the luck to burn. It's up to you. That's true. Given we are in pulp, there is a sort of a a ton of luck <laughs> banked up, but it's 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 your suspense. It's gonna take some getting used to. And also, yeah, it's yeah. also your general thing. Do you feel that the child should sleep it off and possibly be healthier, or are you willing to sort of risk it and you know be confident enough in your own care? No, yeah, you can. I'll leave him alone. Just had enough. Okay. That's fine. We waited this long to from to wake up. We can have a, a kip. So he sort of holds on to your hand and he's trying to talk to you again. You're not really able to, to calm him. He's he's going back and forth and eventually uh, Salvatorelli will administer another dose of something uh, that begins to send him to sleep. His eyes flutter a bit and he goes back. He's clearly fighting it as he goes, uh, blinking oh and, and sort of trying to force himself up, holding onto your hand, but slowly the grip gets weaker and then uh, it's sort of just being held like a sleeping kid as you hold on to it. And Salvatorelli steps back and yeah. Uh, at this point, Smith, you're standing in the doorway, bare feet, yes. muddy. In your uh, if I if I may, you know, the, the sensible thing here, you know, might be to be a bit delicate about the situation. But in the interest of building up the pulp and the tension, pulp. the whole thing, I, I would I would love it if rather than sort of coming in, standing and waiting, I would like to burst through and yell, "There's been a murder!" Immediately, oh. champion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So you, you, uh, cool. sorry, get to take it, take it. There's been a murder, Dr. Sam, we need you now. Oh, that's not good. Quick, this way, this way, hurry. Uh, oh, and all, all of you be on the lookout for men with knives. <laughs> well, the doctors look down at their scalpels scattered about. <laughs> this Phenomenal. way, quick. All right. Uh, all right, Dr. I Sam. I go this you, way, quick. You, 
head out after him immediately. Uh, Salvatorelli will, will turn around and, and uh, seeing you've got it in hand, we'll send one of the nurses with you um, just to assist. Uh, but she turns and continues to uh, look over the boy. Uh, not in like a calm manner. Like you've said there was a murder. Uh, that's important. Uh, she's going to send a runner to go and speak with the uh, the head doctor as well, Dr. Gomez, so that he can be mm -hmm. updated. But Sam and Smith, you quickly go back towards the others. Now, meanwhile, as uh, Minnie, you're grabbing up your gear and Lieutenant Carter, you're studying uh, the body and listening for the surrounding. Um, first of all, uh, just looking at the body, even without medical training, you'll notice that uh, the gash appears to be from two points as if a pair of knives were stuck in on different angles, like about equidistant on, around the neck and then twisted across so there's like two mm. points where it's like and then it sort of like rips and tears across Sweet. enough to just completely drain down to pit, uh uh him of his blood you uh say, you'll also you say two knives are they uh like uh, flat bladed or stiletto mm. pointy stiletto of the two cool so fangs <laughs> yes but they appear to have torn like twisted across and you can mm. see signs of slicing Okay. Um, uh, beyond that, uh, there's the boots on, uh, jacket pulled over, and you can see uh, his hands are matted with dark blood and crusted under, like, nails and things. Uh, it doesn't necessarily... It, it looks... And he, he kept himself pretty clean. It looks as though he sort of scrabbled at the, you know, like, mm. as he was dying and trying to, you know, hold his throat together. At least For... for before, like, while everyone's off running, screaming bloody murder, um, anything in the pockets of his coat? Reach in and, and, and fumble round. Uh, you'll find a packet of cigarettes, um, as well as a small switchblade. <laughs> um, there is also off to one side, like, nestled in under it, like one might have on a keychain. Actually, probably is a keychain, but there's no keys attached. There is a poker chip, um, punched through, uh, with sort of, you know, a 50, 50 mark value. Hmm. Uh, can I get a red hot medicine check on him? Yep. Seeing if there was a sign of a struggle or a fight. So Dr. Sam and everyone reconvenes at this point. Minnie, you've uh, reholstered your books and <laughs> got books. your pistol. Okay, I've got my books, I've got my pistol. I get to the door of the tent. Oh, shit. Uh, and go back and refill my flask with a bit more whiskey. Pop that <laughs> in my pocket. You're going to want back that? The door. Perfect. All right, yeah. everyone reconvenes around the... Could we, can you tell, Doctor, how, how, how long ago this happened? Was, was the body dumped here or was he murdered near here? We can, do, 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 can we try and follow the man? Let me tell you everything I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, this man is dead and he is beyond, your, is, is beyond the realm of care. Uh, uh, no, he, he's he, dead, guys. I am sorry to say um, we're a bit too late. Oh. <laughs> Beyond that, uh, it was definitely the uh, the stab and twist that killed him. Um, it looks as though it was similarly as as Lieutenant Carter has uh, presumed. It it looks as though it was two uh, like quite sharp objects jammed in and then twisted around. Uh, you will note there are no signs of any uh, foreign objects in there. No like splinters of bone or uh, anything beyond that. So it. it Possibly was done with like a knife or something seems similar. Although the perfect twist of it makes you begin to think that possibly the two objects were fixed, um, so they could go in and then go right. around and then stay at the same uh, uh, two length. different objects. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, beyond that, you can see there'll be no signs of him. It doesn't. Appear, there's the blood patter around him, but there's no other signs of wounds or injuries. There's a couple of scrapes and things that you will have picked up just from being around the camp. You also. Definitely identify this as uh, Sergio Lorenzi, the man you met previously. Um, but beyond that, uh, there's no further signs. I would like to squint into the night and see if I can see the assailant running around the camp at all. Okay. Uh, at this point, the camp has woken and people are coming, uh, uh, moving around. A couple of people have gathered and the nurse that came with you, Sam, <laughs> is probably standing and stopping people from getting too much closer. It's basically setting up a line. There are people moving. Uh... Minnie, as you step up and look around, first into the tree line, there's no immediate sign of anyone coming and going, but out towards uh, the other side of the setup where the soldiers are parked, you hear an engine start 
and uh, vehicles, three of them, begin to pull out from behind the tent and head uh, north across the river. Were they the soldiers? Yes. That was what I was about to ask. I was about to say, can, can we eye the soldiers moving? I, I guess at, at that note, are there any other soldiers visible in the camp? Or does it look like this might have been a mass exodus? Looking around, it, there are no soldiers visible. Uh, are there tents and stuff still all set up? Mm -hmm. tents, are, tents are all still set up. It just seems as though the, the trucks had left. Okay. Um, I mean, this this wound is a, it's a bit of a smoking gun, eh? I mean, anyone who has a knife like this... The soldiers... The soldiers are clearing out. They're going. They're leaving. Look, they're, they're going. They're all, they're all there at once. We can't we can't run after them now, but maybe we can confirm something. If they're well, moving... Why not? Well, there's, isn't there dozens of them? There's about 20 or so. They've left their tent. What about going into the tent right now? What about searching it? Good idea, idea, Mr. Smith. I'll throw a cigarette. Scrounge it. Follow me. I'll walk in the direction. He's supposed of the tent. to have a meeting with him <laughs> later th t tonight, and he didn't show. And then I think that yeah, if everything goes well, me. your meeting is cancelled. If you do end up meeting him, something's gone very wrong for all of us. <laughs> what was the? He said he had information about about the about the nurse who's also who got a fright. Well, where's she then? I don't know. He was going to tell me. Damn. I, I'm soldier's tent. That's uh, so best lead we have for now. Yeah. Carter is, is halfway across to the tents already. <laughs> Marching. Is the body being left where it was? Oh, I, I would have covered it up at the very least. So And uh, asked, asked some medical professional to take charge of it. Yeah, so if you're if you're willing to yield it, that's good because they were going to take it. So uh, the nurse and Dr. Gomez, you're going to see, are coming towards it. You're able to head across to the soldiers' tents to avoid the first confrontation at least and get dragged down in more, uh, you know, procedure and, and and questions. But they're going to take it and uh, bring it back towards one of the tents where it can be cleaned and examined independently as well. Uh, Dr. Gomez will want to talk to you. Whether you wish to is up to you. Uh, as you also circle round underneath your own tents and towards the soldiers' side of camp, Again, it's a not very neatly set up um, uh, tents. There's about uh, six of them, uh, and some of them are occupied around what were once the homes of the villagers that lived here um, that looked as though the uh, buildings had been partly destroyed um, from possible mortar shelling or something uh, in the past. Uh, as you get forward, tents have been left open, sort of flapping in the wind. You can see abandoned uh, canteens and tins, a couple of boots scattered around. This is not an orderly place. The two chairs where previously you saw a pair of soldiers keeping watch are empty, although one of them still has a shock gun sort of leaning on it towards the side uh where the trucks left recently there are th three sets of tire tracks that left and the mud churned all around them where a number of soldiers marched back and forth and there is a fourth vehicle just off to the side however it has the hood up and like propped open uh and uh there's like a toolkit opened and scattered slightly where it looks like it's undergoing repairs at the moment um jim could I please scoop up that shotgun real quick? Yoink. I love that we actually had the same idea. I was going to be like, Carter wanders over, picks up the shotgun, and mm. just yeets it at humans. Like, take this. Oh. He does not have a gun, yes. Now, surely leaving your weapon lying around like that is not standard procedure in any military outfit. Not one that I've ever heard of. Pulls out pistol. Absolutely not. Sinclair. There's think... something going wrong with these soldiers. There's something wrong with them. I don't think they're all together, but if we could get that car working, we might be able to follow them. Dr. Sam, is the, does that work the same as one of your flying machines? Can you take a I'll, look at it? I can give it a go. I'll come with must. you and make sure no one jumps on you while you're working. Um, good. You while can... you do that, I'm going to secure the perimeter. I'm going to go tent by tent. I'm going to essentially, like, push open each of them with the gun, and if there's anything in there, I'm going to shoot it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. mine. Good to search the actual tents after they've been cleared by Carter. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Can I have, can I have read a bit? No, I wouldn't have read about the use of repairing car engines. If you've got mechanical give... repair, you can it. <laughs> I, no, I, no. That's it. Again, I'm always very flexible for the first few sessions. Once you're, as you're filling out the characters, you can move some points around and just reconcile it later. If you, if you think that makes sense for your character. No, I just don't know if we have anyone. Cause I think 
Are you Please tell you me. got mechanical repair, Sam Taylor? I've got 70. I think he's pretty oh, good. Oh, you do? Oh, I yeah. thought it's, the, it's electrical repair that you don't have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Electrical repair. Yeah, okay. no. I couldn't remember which one you didn't have. The spark have. plug's missing. You're stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Sam is exactly the kind of person who would be wandering around with uh, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance in his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> is it a real book? Yes. Yeah. It's One of the things that I wanted to say, Dave, on the note of uh, moving some stats around for the first session, um, I took fast talk, but I think that uh, Herbert's much too earnest to lie. Yeah. He couldn't do it. Um, and based on my enormously fun experience jumping on the horse and charging the mm -hmm. enemy, I would like to move my points from fast talking to drive. So I'm just yeah, going to move yeah, dude. that in advance. Not, not ride? Not ride? Oh, I already You're have committed. 50 in ride. <laughs> oh, okay. I will oh, say, hell yeah. just in case it, it matters, uh, Carter is a driver. That's all right. I, we so, can double up. No yeah. stress. So yeah, more than more than one drive is probably a good idea. It. Yeah, as we true. learned in the last campaign. It's true. Yeah. Sometimes that. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> one person goes through a windshield. <laughs> good all times, right. and you yes. can catch up on youtubecom slash <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. So as Dr. Sam and uh, Mr. Smith head over to the uh, the car and begin to go over it, uh, Lieutenant Carter checks each of the. Um, tents, and then once cleared, Mini can sort of scurry in and, and take a look around and see what's going on. Uh, you can all watch as the line of trucks get to the river, which carves a path through the jungle not far to the north. And then there is a ford where it's not like a full bridge, but it's shallower, and slowly the trucks can get to it and then uh, drive across the water, sort of passing around them. And then once they get to the other side, you'll see all three vehicles packed to the brim with soldiers and guns and things fan out heading in three different directions. One cuts straight north across the field. The others go east and west uh, independently um, into sort of jungle and beginning to drive out and around. Uh, Dr. Sam, when you watch, when you flew over the other day and sort of look at him, you saw a similar thing. Spread out soldiers moving uh, in packs, squadrons, does, platoons. Does the direction they're going in have any correlation to that mud map that we were given? So, uh, they definitely, so again. they cross it, yes, they cross it the ford and they go through the site of battle. One of them is driving straight to the site of battle, which is quite a large area. And the other two are going, I guess, uh, north. I guess I would probably, actually, I was saying north for the crossing the ford, which is wrong. They're heading oh, so side of west battle, across the ford. Is, that was the big, big hole in the ground? Uh, yes. That, I that, saw? It, that yeah. is within the site of battle. Yes, that's right. Mm. And our instructions were that we're looking for something near there. I remember correctly. Looking for, a, we have to go into a temple and pull mm. a mummy out. And you did see a hole in the ground. That's right. Recent, so, yeah, you should first make your way to this confrontation. Uh, enter the temple. Okay, cool. So we're trying to find a temple, but we got to go to the, the side of battle. Easy done. That's right. So they a bit, one's going straight to the side of battle, the other are going, like, fanning out past it in two different directions. Okay, so, like, guarding it. Or, 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 yeah, headed. they're going quite a ways away. Like, they would probably be huh. outside of contact range with one another. <clears throat> if they have radios, they could speak, but they won't be able to yell. They're going quite okay. a, a distance. Pick them up one assume... by one. Got it. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, that assumes, of course, that they can get to the radio before all of them die. Yeah. Um, Fingers crossed. Yeah, looking around, looking around the tents for anything weird slash useful. 100%. Uh, so, Lieutenant Carter, as you go through each one, uh, finding out there are, there is little sign of life, uh, all the soldiers seem to have got up and gone um, until you come to one of them where there is a body laying on a cot, but it is uh, dead. It's not moving. Uh, as you come forward, you can see there's a couple of flies landed on it and then moving up and buzzing. And then as you get really close, you can see that there is a like a very faint rising of the chest mm. and then settling. Uh, they are living oh. just very, very close to death. Um, their eyes are sort of open and, and, and glassy. Their hands are just hanging limply down by the side and they're just staring up at the canvas ceiling. Are, Sam, are you okay? Oh, I'm gonna ask no. in Spanish. You ask them and they uh, don't even move. They show no sign of hearing. 
And Dr. Dude, Sam, you can you can head break. over. I am I am standing in front of Minnie and I have my gun trained on this. I'm person. like leaning leaning around the lieutenant. I'm dear's in a bad way. And you certainly wouldn't leave one of your own soldiers like this, would you? You just it's not it's not the darn thing. I not Oh maybe this any... will help. And I'm gonna like take my flask out and just I'm go I'm <laughs> I'm gonna put an arm up and be like, don't. But... Don't. I mean, until sure until this is secure. Sinclair, please, don't. I don't think he's going anywhere. No, I've but I'm slightly concerned. Until Sam's here and confirms this isn't contagious, let's not get any closer. Oh, yes, right, of course. Uh, I'm going to look for strange things, and I'm just going to kind of start rifling through the tent. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so and, I, and the ones that have been cleared, I'm just going to be looking for yeah, I might weird slash useful. I might essentially, like, send you out of this tent, because I really don't want anyone near... Like, it sort of, you know, be like, start, you know. Okay. Contagion, don't do not do the thing. Uh, but if you're like, look for strange things as you head out, Carter will, under their don't breath, go... for strange things. Other than you? <laughs> <laughs> so, as many heads Perfect. out, Dr. Sam comes um, in... And uh, do you want to take a look at the body, Dr. Sam? Uh, yeah, if if it is a body. I got the impression that it was... It's yeah. pretty... Is it dead? It's pretty close to dead. So okay. as you come in... Uh, sort I've, of I've caught whatever Hubert has. Snapping on <laughs> gloves or, or whatever uh, and having a look over it. This uh, person is still living, but close to death it looks like they've been run completely ragged uh their mm. feet are underneath a sort of like half sprawled blanket towards the side uh and you can see that they are blistered and almost like broken through um as you uh begin to inspect like eyes and things they're glassy and staring this person hasn't been fed or watered or cleaned in in some time and as you begin to pull apart uh the coat you will find that their front has this massive wound across it, similar to the boys, but much mm. more severe, several stages beyond. It's actually broken through muscle, tearing it completely back and exposing sort of like sh like uh, where the rib cage has been pulled apart and then sort of almost sucked in towards stomachs and guts and things. That is bad news. I will mm, call out for great. some water and see what I can do to treat it. Okay, uh, can you go ahead and give me a medicine roll? And I'm just flagging before yes. you go here, the default is going to be this person cannot be saved and they are too far gone. That said, they could be, you know... Surely uh, they could be first, first aid to, to... Medicine is like knowledge and long-term treating. This is, this is first oh, sorry, aid, this, right? This, first no, 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 this is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is this is definitely medicine. This is part... This was not like a recent thing. This person looks yeah, like he's okay. been seated up here for some time. This is saying gotcha. if you can do anything. Ugh. Oh, well, that's bad news. Insect would be some some pain relief, and that's the very best good that you can do for them. Oh, this that's person is do. like in very very far gone. It's it's amazing they've clung to life for this long. All right, that's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, do what we can to lessen the pain and are you let him pass? I I before you get that out, I will say very quietly. Sam, is it nicer to do this quickly? Um, do I get the impression there that they're like in a lot of pain? Is this like a torture, torturous situation going on, or are they just slipping they're so away? far gone? They're probably not sensing too much at this point. Yeah, it, it, pain relief and 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 you know they'll yeah. go when they're ready. Would probably be your default. Let's um just give them a bit of peace and quiet until they're ready. Hey, if you're willing to use up precious medical supplies then it's what we're here to do we're here to help it's what you're here to do Sam that's right alright I'll leave you to it and I'll go and stand outside the tent keeping an ear on what's going on inside but just kind of like making sure no one comes near the tent while Sam's doing what he's doing okay um you can and if there's one thing you're not sure on, it's medical supplies in the camp. So you can go through and make sure that this person is as, you know, as painless as possible. Um, as they go, they will show no sight. They will not blink. They will not look up. They will barely move as you go about, uh, you know, um, uh, basically putting them, you know, sending them to, to sleep so they can uh, doze uh, somewhat restfully. 
uh, Lieutenant Carter can step outside. And meanwhile, Mini, you begin to go inside each tent one at a time. Uh, what are you looking through? So each one is like there's a cot uh, set up and there'll be a, a trunk or something, most open, mm. none locked or secured. Inside you will find there are uh, like spare sets of clothes, canteens, minor personal effects. Uh, yeah. There'll be one... Uh, a uh, shelf off towards the side, which is in like looks to be an armory. Uh, there is a large and formidable looking lock on the front of it, but it is unlocked. Uh, and when you pull it to the side and open it, there's a number of like rifles and shotguns just sort of like jammed in haphazardly. And like the boxes of shells have been open and just fistfuls grabbed of them. Uh, there's a neat sheet off to the side, uh, written in Spanish, but clearly like what a quartermaster would update, like, you know, things coming in and out. Uh, it was last updated weeks ago. Um, huh. Maybe three weeks, three and a half. Uh, and since then, it seems to have, things have been grabbed. I'm, I'm, if you look at that and just, hmm, can't will be interested in this. Uh, I'm looking for anything, anything that is, that is, I mean, just because mm. of how many's made, uh, anything that's kind of occulty or weird or looks like, because, you know, there's, we've been told that there is a, a temple. We've been told that we've got to pick up a mummy. We've been told there's this, uh, you know, weird things in a, in a festival and in Minnie's head, basically not necessarily believing in the actual occult, but knowing mm -hmm. how deeply these uh, myths and legends can be held in different cultures that perhaps they are letting superstition uh, run away with them and anything that would kind of support uh, a, a myth, a legend, a superstition, and, and amulets, uh, mm -hmm. drawings, maps, but anything that would kind of allude to a, a, a collective kind of superstition that could have made these soldiers go a little bit wonky. 100%. So um, could you actually give me a, uh, could you give me an intelligence roll? Ooh, and this boy, is factoring I'm... you going through, looking and, and trying to see if there's anything hidden using your using your skill set. Not, not a cult or spot hidden? Uh, not for this one. No. I mean, I so, could just burn the luck. If, if you I want mean... to. It's quite a big hit. I'll say this yeah. is you. I, I'm factoring in your occult and spot hidden knowledge. You are looking through and, yeah. so, and you have you don't seem to have found anything. That's mm. what luck's there for. Yeah. It's pulp. Burn the luck. <laughs> You'll get it back faster. <laughs> Exactly. Why the hell not? I would, yeah. If there's anything here, I want to know for sure. Yeah. Okay. So you burnt it? Yeah. All right. Uh, going through, so you look for anything hidden or anything occult, and there is a note, not a noted, there is a complete absence of it. Nothing seems to have been squirreled away. Every single uh, cot and soldier's trunk appears to be just completely haphazard, sprawled about uh, with little care taken for it. You look through, and things that might maybe should have been hidden, like contraband in the military, <laughs> being like, you know, like, I don't know liquor and stuff is not hidden it's just like underneath a shirt and then you just find it it's right there it appears that there's no uh like care or, or order to the um to the squadron however you notice that there are still three cots which are well kept and they are neat and they have um their trunks are to the side they are still like neatly laid with clothes and things however they just appear to have been completely not touched um the beds have not been slept in although there are indents across them where sorry like the uh bed clothes have either been neatly made been or disturbed. not yeah exactly yeah. um and they are each set next to a um uh, you can find dog tags or some sort of identifier inside them showing this to be one Captain La Fuente, who would be the head of this, a Sergeant Angulo, A-N-G-U-L-O, and a Lieutenant Rodriguez. Uh, these three, what would be leaders of this um, section of military guys, uh, appear not to be in the same state of disrepair. They still seem to have some... Intelligence about them. This also tent has on the interior been like, you know, they've closed the zip when they left. There's mm -hmm. thought to things. I, uh, that said, there are, there is that still no, there are still okay. no, like, there's no signs of, nothing's been left behind. If they had anything here, they appear to have it on their person or taken it with them. Right. Uh, is there, you said that there were like shirts, thing, like things just thrown around. Can we grab, can I grab, um, if there's any spare uniforms, so any, like, just the jacket. Yeah. 
Yeah, a hundred percent. In uh, sizes be, that I think uniform. would fit my compatriots and I. Uh, I would say you, uh, I Carter, feel like you and might Thompson be can do so without issue. Uh, Mr. Smith, uh, <laughs> can I, I get him a hand? Way. Yeah, I would say so, it's surely, a... surely there's got to be there's got to be one soldier that you know when we get into a big fight with them inevitably oh, yeah. sit around and there's a really big one that comes out and then you know they they have to fight and can I get that guy's yeah you know yeah, it's like I pick one up and I'm like oh god I hope we don't have to fight him <laughs> is it a, <laughs> like, a luck roll to see if yeah. Yeah. Uniform? and I just spent all my luck so this is fun. <laughs> No. Oh, no. no. On um, the plus side, that means I'm the biggest one here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave, for confirming damn that it, I'm damn it, it. Damn it. anybody on. <laughs> no, the, no the, the, the other big soldier is just like butt naked the whole time. <laughs> Sprinting sword. Sword. Well, I'll they're, get they're, Hubert they're, a hat. Then, then I'll get butt Hubert naked have a hat. <laughs> Hubert could have a hat. And you could wrap some canvas, like a. You could just take one of the, break one of the tents down and wrap him in it. <laughs> Charge forward. But no, I just, uh, I just, I, I, I just steal a bit of it, steal a bit of uniforming, and and. No, that's a great uh, idea. Bring it back to the last tent, uh, where where the uh, injured man is, uh, and kind of just stick my head in, just the head, just my head, just pop my head through the gap. I found a lot of guns, uh, and I stole some uniforms, uh, you know, just in case. Uh, I'll meet you at the truck, I guess. Tell me how. And go to the truck. Uh, so, Dr. Sam, you've done all that you can for this yeah, person. You yeah, can yeah. hail a couple of nurses to take... It, this will be... It'll take him a while. Like, he, you don't know how long he'll cling on for. It's it's up to him. You can have a couple of nurses come and take him back towards the aid camp if you wish. Um, sure. Or you can... That's what we'll do. Stay in. No sense leaving, uh, leaving... Leaving... Leaving folks behind. That's what we'll do. Great. Um, uh, what's the plan for me? Uh, Mr. Smith, what have you been doing, by the way? I know you were going to help with the mechanics, but I think it's not your particular forte. Uh, well, so I think that, yeah, we went towards the car and then as we arrived and sort of took a really brief look at it, all of a sudden we heard Carter yell out. Uh, People more doctor, important than cars. The doctor tore away and Hubert went, looks like it's up to me. And yes. I will oh, no. be trying to fix the car. You champion. Oh, no. Get after it. Make a mechanical repair roll. Here we go. He's going to ruin it. It's gonna fumble and ruin it. So fumble. Cool. Close. <laughs> Look over it. You've gotten out the the jump leads and you've attached that. You're sure that's the good side. And then you're holding the other side and you're looking around. <laughs> Attach that to how do these instructions? Out all the instructions. There's there's very clear instructions, but they're all in Spanish. So, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, you, you, you've gotten it started for me. Uh, um, yeah, yes, Doctor. Here you are. <laughs> thanks, mate. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it from here. Thanks. You start doing undoing everything he's done. <laughs> Uh, I would. I'd like to offer assistance because um, I have above base. Okay. Nice. Sure. Uh, I'm. I'm very happy to offer a penalty die if it's uh, required. <laughs> if it's appropriate. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as Doctor, before you roll, so Doctor Cam, Doctor Sam, and Lieutenant Carter are going to see to the car. It is in uh, moderate to bad shape, so this is going to take a little beat. Uh, Smith and Minnie, do you want to be doing anything amongst them? Do you want to be the ones yes. that go and tell? Uh, go ahead. No, I'm going to go collect some guns and some bullets okay, from great. the armory that I found and start loading the car up. Uh, I guess and we've got that some stolen me uniforms and then just a shitload of guns. Is the image just as they're doing it every now and then you come out of the like, bundled up with guns and uniforms, just chucking it into the tray, going back? I'm like, uh -huh. I'm gonna go get more. No, I'm stacking it all very neatly. Well, I, I think I'm stacking. It's you know, it's it's like firewood. You know, you stack it up and it just <laughs> rolls down. That come out once with a load of books, and then the second time a load of shotguns, and the third time. You know. Are you doing the thing where you think you're being really subtle, but whenever no one's looking, you're doing a little nip from the flask and just keeping the buzz riding throughout the oh, morning? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm riding that buzz. I, I spent my life on that. I'm, I'm riding that buzz. I did it and back away. All right, awesome. Uh, Hubert. Yeah, I guess that's up to me then to tell the aid camp what's going on. Um, I will rush back and uh, speak to anybody who has come seeking us out for information or whatever. Okay, awesome. Uh, so, Minion loads up the car. Carter and Sam uh, look to repairs. And, Miss Smith, you head back into... Uh, you'll be shortly waylaid by uh, Dr. Gomez, who is leading the camp, uh, who is searching for you and has found, you know, sees life over by the soldiers and comes towards you. Um, he has a nurse 
just behind him, one of the slightly larger looking ones. And as he comes across, he's going to demand an explanation. He's going to say, so I understand there was someone killed. Did I not tell you not to get into any fights? This place has been peaceful until you arrived. And now we see things are beginning to devolve into disaster. Dr. Gomez, I completely understand how upset you are. I want to assure you, first of all, that we had nothing to do with this death. We discovered a corpse, one that had clearly been murdered, and we alerted everybody as quickly as possible. Seems clear that the soldiers, and you'll be able to see this yourself, have immediately wandered out. This seems like it was some kind of dispute between them. And 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 while I understand your stress, I want to tell you that we are on the same side. I would just like to calm him down. It's okay. We're, we're going to go and we're going to follow after them. It's all right. We've got this. Relax. As, you, as you're talking, under, it was outside your t- Hint. They clearly placed it there, even if someone else did it. Whether you were the ones who killed the man or not, you're clearly involved. And as for the soldiers, they've left camp every day since they've been here. They only leave one or two people here during the day. They go across the ford every morning. None of this is new to me, Mr. Smith. You are what is new to me. You and that corpse. That said, do you want to go ahead and make a roll to try and calm down? Absolutely. What kind of role would you like? A persuade or a charm? I think or persuade, a... or you could go for the old subtle intimidate, but I think it was more no, persuade. No, I think no, you're being I, very I, logical here. I'm trying to persuade him. Extreme success. Listen, it's okay, right? <laughs> so he still very much sees you as related to the event, um, but I think... If you're willing to lean on this, I think it's your ties to Caduceus, amongst other things, who have basically sure. supported a significant like level of the, the expedition and kind of going, look, we, maybe this is targeted at us, but we sure as shit didn't start it. Mm. Um, he sort of he will bluster a bit and then eventually say, listen, all I care about above all other things is delivering aid. That I man, Dr. No Sergio, was a good man and they've been killed by someone. If those soldiers had something to do with it, I want them brought to justice as well. We agree. Aid and justice above all. We're on the same side, sir. I want to be very, very clear, and and, and I understand what you're saying. All right, we'll man. follow after them. If they're responsible, we'll bring them to justice, and we, above all else, will be out of your hair and won't be a conflicting factor in what's to come. Thank you, Mr. Smith. He holds out a hand for you to shake. I will shake it. His is tiny in your massive palm. And as he <laughs> shakes it, and he says, and, and where you can, no more bodies. Violence is never the answer. I agree. He shakes it and nods and, and, and turns away back towards the camp. All right. I will wander back over to my friends once I've defused the situation. Fantastic. Uh, Dr. Sam, can you make a mechanical repair roll with a bonus dice? This is going to be hard. It's going to be hard? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, part except, of the deal. Yeah, because uh, Hubert fucked it up. Oh, <laughs> didn't need the bonus. Well time. done. Uh, this is this is hard. Even just base, so Hubert fortunately didn't fumble anything. <laughs> just got the jumper cables have gotten that much further. Uh, no, as you get there, this car is in quite bad repair. You can see that it seems to have. Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do I suspect? Sabotage? Not sabotage. You suspect incompetence. Uh, there is a winch or something underneath it that would have gotten, like, could be tied to, like, drag the car out of the mud. It appears to have been wrenched so far that it's actually broken underneath the vehicle slightly and, like, like misaligned the tires or some crank shit. Shot? Yeah, it's always the crankshaft. It's some sort of thing uh appears to have been barely broken where it looks like the car was either dragged by something heavy or tried to drag something heavy and that's actually like moved mm. the tires around the engine itself appears to have like overheated and been poorly repaired and where it's been propped up it looks as though someone's taken a like a hammer or something to it and has given it a bit of a whack a couple of times uh possibly in an attempt of engineering uh little other uh there's no other reason to do it. Um, and the uh, tires themselves have been completely like stripped raw, where they look like as though they've been like turning in, in mud or across stone or something. They've, they've One's deflated, the other's got a number of punctures across it. Uh, so they've, they've tried to do something they shouldn't have done. Yeah, it looks like they tried, tried to, to like. It's as if they the you know the car had been lifted up by the winch in a sudden jerk from like a you know a helicopter or 
something like that. Or or the winch was attached and it dropped off something and suddenly wrenched open. That said, you're able to get under it and you are a really good mechanic. You're able to sort of start, like, b moving things into place and, look, the car's never going to be... You're not going to be able to return it to the uh, the place where you brought it, bought it, uh, but you can get it running and the car will move. I feel like uh, when 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 Doctor Sam's working on the engine, he, his brain goes to the same place as treating a patient. So he starts like mm. muttering to the engine. Oh, oh, you gonna be all right, buddy? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's tighten that up. You just tighten that up. I think you'll feel much better after this. How does that feel? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, good, 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 good. Oh, this like, like halfway through dropping some some um, some shells in the in the like in the back seat. And it's just like. Yeah, Carter's sitting in the in the driving seat, like you know, pumping gas or whatever. And I think there's a moment where, like, sees your face, and just goes, <laughs> "Like this is normal." Hubert, for his part, will walk past and think he's being addressed, and be like, "Oh, I'm okay. Thanks for asking." <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, we got a car. As everyone regathers, uh, Sam pulls himself out from under it and the car will uh, roar into life. Uh, the back seat has been completely, like, or the, the boot it's or whatever, has been completely full. filled it's with shotguns. Yeah, the, it's got a number of shotguns, <laughs> rifles, spare ammunition, uh, rope, uniforms, a uh, couple of uh, random books you found, just anything you think might be remotely useful. You grab the lock off the armory. Maybe oh, you'll yeah, lock something with that. Chuck that in. Quick uh, question. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a bathtub? Is there a bathtub? No, unfortunately not. They have showers <laughs> set up. You can take a whole lot of those if you want. <laughs> you can have something else in, uh, <laughs> impractical to strap to the roof as needed. Um, is there anything else you wish to do? Or let's get What's on the road. Let's running. chase after these damn, these damn murdering soldiers. Agreed. All right. Everyone slides in. Who's driving? What's, what's the seating arrangement? Uh, I mean, I was sitting in the front, so unless someone oh, actually, to... so we're, we're going straight to the uh, straight to the the site. Is that the plan? I believe so. We get some. Uh, should, should, should should someone be in the air on the approach? I think Not we've got it. Idea. May as well use it. You want to talk about strapping something unwieldy to the top of the truck? Flying no. machine. No, like, he's talking about yeah, flying no. machine. Yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. Oh, if we I, have I it on the top of idea. the, if we have it on the top of the truck and like tied with ropes or something, it'd be really cool if like as the truck picks up speed, it starts to you pick can up take, you can... and take off, and then you go release <laughs> and straight up. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. That rules. Awesome. Don't hate it. I like yeah, that. I like that a lot. Because I was gonna yeah. say, if you you can take off, we've said that like along the river is a relatively easy uh, ascent and descent zone, whatever you call that, landing strip. Uh, but beyond that, like landing in the battlefield or somewhere, will be much more difficult. You'll need to make a piloting roll. I would say if you want to strap the car to the roof, you will get a one time at least release where you could take off as the car yeah. picks up speed to try and time it. Do you want to spend the? It probably it probably gives me like a shorter a shorter like you know take off distance. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be a roll, but hell yeah, it's that rule. If we're uh, that collecting. Will be a, that will take oh, a, like, an, a couple, like a couple hours, but it's not crazy. You've already um, spent some time redoing this. That'll just be the morning done and you're, you're leaving in the afternoon. Oh, are we yeah, trying to like hit be. the... Try like... uh, I don't think, I don't think we're, I, I don't think we're catching them on the road. Like we've already established. Like we've already no, established we're not catching them on the road. We've already on. established that, so. Well, but we've already established pop I can take off from the can. All right, we'll pop it on the road. Come on, just, 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 just. <laughs> Like, we're not going to catch them on the road anyway. Then you've got options. All right, very good. All right. uh, collecting if vehicles, I'm pretty tempted to go and get Charlie, but um, the 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 the, the mule I, I rode on. Don't think so we, can we can strap a donkey to the roof. Cavalry, Air Force, and you know <laughs> armored divisions, but I think I think that's one too many. I'm yes. just getting the cut. <laughs> I'm sure we can steal a mule somewhere. Out the window. <laughs> All right, if we're spending like a couple, like if we're spending a couple of hours putting thing like strapping a flying machine to the roof also it's a, it's a fairly involved process we'll need a few people at least to, to get it up yeah. and in I don't. Uh, hmm. you're you're not feeling it you're not feeling it are you sam i'm not seeing the benefit now i feel like <laughs> yeah. okay i feel like it's if, a good you, idea you can, we can, we can keep, that, we keep that in the back pocket we don't have to use every single wild idea immediately we can yeah, we it's can, true we if can not, keep it in the back like i mean off. there are yeah, the flying oh, machine okay. packs down into crates and and we're going to take it with us when we leave yeah 
Well, yeah, so you could, Sam goes back and gets the machine, flies, and then we head over and forward mm. over, like, at the same time. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. The problem yeah. will just be, yeah. we'll be, we'll be landing the flying machine on the other side. You don't necessarily have it. You'll have to look for somewhere. That's it. You can, it'll, it'll, it'll be a roll. Find somewhere that you can, that you can touch down. Because it's jungle and, you know, battle. It's jungle <laughs> or it's, like, you know, battlefield where there's, you like, are you know, a pilot. Debris. You're going to have to make a piloting roll eventually. It'll be fine. Uh, does, does, does anyone else want to come up with me that has any particular long-range skills? No. I, I do not. <laughs> no offense, Sam, but um, I, when there's less likelihood of us getting shot down from the sky. All right. I, I, I think I, I will say I probably have been up with you before, but in an earlier mm. iteration, and it was like something that I'm like, that was an experience. Yeah. Mm. Oh, me, something. me, me. I'd love to. Let's do it. I don't have any long range skills though, but I can I can drop things on people. All right, sounds a plan. All right, and we're splitting up. Got the two bruises on the ground and the eyes in the sky. Miss Sinclair, we'll see you closer. If yes. you're going up, I'd recommend uh, turning left if you're going to have another one of your stomach upsets. Oh no, that was just because there was so much blood. You could see like all of his inside of his throat and everything. I'd never seen an esophagus like that before. In a few. Good times. Okay. And All right. Minnie's gonna like take a ginger candy out of her out of her pocket and just pop it in her mouth. And... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, Doctor Sam and Minnie head towards the flying machine, and Lieutenant Carter and Mister Smith take the uh, car and begin to drive it across the ford. We'll uh, cut to sort of seeing you, you know, heading across the water. It's splashing and driving around you as the flying machine drives around uh, in arcs along the horizon. Uh, Dr. Sam, with your goggles down, yelling over the wind to Minnie, you're able to spot uh, one of the cars. One of the trucks has gone past the large hole in the ground and has continued to head... <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Wait. Zoom Master. Jeez. That's so good. A set of goggles. Oh. I'm almost surprised there isn't an actual aviator goggle. That's tremendous. Uh, yeah. But it doesn't work with glasses underneath. <laughs> with the mustache, though, it's just. Oh. Can you get like a uh. wind effect direct? <laughs> Uh, uh, tremendous so as uh, Dr. Sam can yell over the wind to Minnie you can see that one of the trucks the one that went right past the, the hole in the ground has continued out um, heading across the battlefield and into jungle the other two are hard to spot in the trees but as you wheel around the uh, spinny thing spinning um, you'll spot shaking at one point, a number of birds take flight uh, in the area where you think there might be... You catch a glimpse of a truck carving in. Meanwhile, the uh, car on the ground has forded the river and is beginning to pick its way through the battlefield. Uh, this area that we're in is uh, shocked with artillery. You can see areas where dirt has been significantly displaced. You can see burnt out trucks and cars. And there's still a little number of scattered corpses from the battle just sprawled where they fell. Guns dropped and uh, weapons on the ground, blood splattered. This is a fairly gruesome area, but exactly what you expected. Um, where are you heading towards? Are you going to try and pursue the trucks? Are you heading towards the large hole in the ground that Dr. Sam spotted? Uh, what's the intent? Uh, our marching orders were to go to the uh, site of battle and work our way from there. So that's what we're doing. And that's that's, that's the hole there. in the ground that I spotted there, that I would have described? I believe so. Yes, that is within the site of battle. That's right. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... It, is it clear that there are like other trucks nearby or are we sort of enough behind them that we're not really going to encounter them at this they point? They seem to have gone straight past it. Great. And the other ones went arcing in different directions. They never went near it. So as the uh, as the truck pulls up at the spot that Dr. Sam uh, spotted and was able to give you directions towards, um, on the ground, it would actually be quite hard to see. It's uh, like it looks like a jumble of stones from any distance. And the, there's a number of like trees and things. There's never any easy, uh, easy like like you can never get a long line of sight anywhere. You kind of have to, there's always broken up by trees and things. And this whole thing is on ground level. And it looks as though uh, this hole in the ground was previously covered by a large cap of stone that is now broken and twisted off towards the side. You'll see a number of tire tracks around it and uh, uh, like muddied sections where boots tramped around, as well as one of the uh, cars was possibly shelled, which has been pulled off towards the side. As the engine stops and Carter and Smith step out, uh, you can see the stone that once covered it has uh, 
thick mud and grass atop it, but never uniformly so. And you can see glimpses of the stone underneath. It looks like it would have been reasonably well disguised while it was there. As you step across towards the large hole in the ground and as the plane uh, buzzes over once more, looking down, you see the dark descends completely out of sight. However, around the outside... So inside of the hull, but the perimeter of it, the, the furthest section, there is a set of stairs which descend down into the darkness. Uh, there are also signs of uh, footprints, like muddied boots, on the first few sections, although they dried out as they went further down. Uh, there are no sounds of <coughs> soldiers around this area. Okay. Um, from the air, can we get an idea of any landmarks that the vehicles might have been heading towards? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so you can begin to try and uh, scout uh, where they're heading. You can see approximately where they're going. They seem to be just fanning out uh, in, in three different directions. Uh, could you give me a navigation? Probably makes the most sense. Who, me? Uh, both the, of us? Between the two of you. One could assist the other, or you could both roll. I got a good bit of navigation. I got no. Just, you can still take no. the assist because you're kind of calling out areas yeah. that you think might be important. And I've got, I've got good spot hidden. I'll take it. <laughs> Holy shit. Never mind. Well, now. Uh, <laughs> good bit of navigation. Good bit of navigation. Some would say too much. <laughs> okay. Probably not. Not enough. So, uh, they appear to be heading out... Pointedly, there are no landmarks that you can see. They're heading out into just, like, more jungle. There's nothing that really marks any section towards... Uh, marks any section from any other. However, they seem to be checking to... It's almost if they're navigating on compass directions or something. They are mm. going... Uh, one is heading... Uh, the one that cuts straight across the field and continued across is going west. Uh, the one that headed flanked one went sort of north 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 northwest and the other one was sort of like south southwest so they're heading okay. in sort of like a uh like an angled uh, attack scanning out they also you can see them fanning back and forth zigzagging slightly whenever you spot one of the cars you follow the the south one for example you'll see them uh, zigzagging back and forth as if they're like scouring uh mm. or zigzagging and trying to see if they'll hit something searching in one direction uh -huh. all three are doing that in different directions Weird. That said, no like, clear mm. signs of what they're going towards. But seemingly... They look like they're looking for something, right? Not not the hole in the ground. They aren't going towards that or anything. No, no, no. They're they, they, looking they, for they, that because they know where it. it is. Yeah, you saw them at it the previous day. Mm. Yeah, well, they're, they're out there looking for something. They're definitely looking for things. Uh, hole in the ground. Yes? Hole in the ground. While can we spot we... the 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 the, uh, the other two on the ground? Yeah, as well. You can you, 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 you can wind are. back, and you know where that is, so you can wind back yeah. and begin to head across towards them. Do you uh, want to stay? The... Do you want to stay airborne? Um, depends if I can see whether I can take off and land easily enough. If there's a spot near the near the hole in the ground, do you want to give me give me a now? give me a piloting roll? If you oh, land here boy. while someone search the hole in the and ground. And this isn't landing, this is just scouting. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, where is it? Oh, it's down there in additional skills, of course. Oh, oh yeah, Lord there's one you can land on. You're looking at it. This feels like the time has been 29 points long. Oh, sorry, actually, it's, it's not a fumble. Does. It's not a fumble because you're above 70. Not a fumble. But with that, so... so uh, I'm pissed. <laughs> uh, it's not a fumble. Do you want to push it? Do you want to push it? <laughs> Oh, push it. Push Lots it would be. to be spent. I'm going to get it back. Okay, so here's, here's what I'll say. With, without spending luck, there is no easy one. Uh, if you yeah. if you descended and tried to land, it would be with a penalty dice and the risk of hitting yeah. something and not compromising the vehicle permanently, but just, you know, you'll, it'll need some repairs. Uh, mm -hmm. If you push it, uh, that would be basically, you're pretty sure you've got one and going for it. Um, and then crash anything it. lands. Otherwise, if you spend the luck, you can just it'll be a, it'll still be a piloting roll, just no penalty dice. Uh, no, it won't be. Uh, you'll just need to. Sorry, it'll just be a straight roll to try and land. 
I don't want to risk the first flight of the entire campaign in this flying machine going terribly. That's going to set the tone for the rest of the campaign. Oh, okay, and, yeah. uh, I'm not here for that. I'm not here no, for that. No. But luckily, this is a second flight, technically. So, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 65 minus 29 brings me down to 36 luck. Shit, okay. Uh, you, are gonna, you are still going to need to contest. make a second pilot roll for the actual land, but you've got a spot. That's fine. Yep. Wait. So you spent 26 points of luck for... That's what I'm saying. So don't necessarily... Currently, you're just rolling uh, your land with a, no, with yeah. a penalty. It's fine. No, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Spend the luck. No penalty die. Thank okay, you. Go for yeah, it. penalty die on this. Yeah, I agree. All Good right. choice. Good choices. We're coming down hot. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you had it. You thought you had a clean seat, but as you get closer and as you're beginning to wind in towards it, you can see that while it is a clean run, it's not quite as long as you'd anticipated. You thought you were going to land earlier, but there's a truck there, so you have to sort of nip over it. And just as you're beginning to nose down towards um, it. Clean run, but the hole is at the other side of it. You can mean to touch down and bounce Sam. along it, moving around and trying to pull Sam. up and slow Sam. down as quickly and, as and possible. This is, this is not an eight points of luck situation? This is an eight or, points of luck right. situation. Up to you. It is? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, if you want to spend are you, it. Are you going to hurt Sam. the vehicle and, like, and it's or not, go in the hole? Or it's is not it catastrophic. Like... You'll pull up. It's just damage to it. I think no. you want to spend eight points of luck. Yeah, eight it's only eight. Luck. It's only eight. This is pulp. Fine. Sam, 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 Sam. <laughs> <laughs> just Things a little bit like quiet. Just a bit a little bit. Uh, what does it look like? I guess we've seen <laughs> Sam under, under um, like, uh, pretty cool under pressure previously. Oh, yeah. This is your baby risking going, you know, being plugged out into a, into a hole of darkness. Do we see a touch of panic or is it still all, all cool? No, yeah. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> what's, the, cause that's, what's the worst that can happen, you know? Sam's it's gonna, gonna be fucking right in the end. lose it when you when you have a sanity, but like when you go crazy, I cannot wait because <laughs> it's the cool ones. It's the cool ones. I always break. Yeah, yeah. First to fall. So Sam sort of zigzags back and forth, and as uh, Smith and Carter are looking down into the hole, uh, you can see Sam approaching, and the thought probably goes to like, that looks like a bit of a short <laughs> run. And Sam's got this right, and he begins to touch down, and oh, he's coming in pretty fast fast the holes right there maybe let's step to the side sort of move out of the way and he comes careening for it he just begins to break the propeller winding rapidly and as he finally stops it's right on the edge of the hole a couple of rocks go dropping down towards it the propeller still winding the wheels just lean like they're gonna go over and then back oh, and God. settle oh. in place another perfect landing <laughs> not quite what i meant when i said I'll go to the hole let's go to the hole but um Marvellous. That's all right. Brought, brought, brought you right here. Gosh, that you is know? such a thrill, isn't no, it? No walking at all. I can understand why you love that. Oh, it's a bit of, it's a bit of fun. It's so much but, fun. Uh, oh, it, by the way, the, the trucks uh, are climbing, clambering down, saying to me, the trucks look like they're the soldiers. They're uh, looking for something. Sleeping back and forth, looking for things along the mm, almost like mm. compass points. It's... Can I have spent the time where these two were faffing around in the air, wiping some of the dirt off the cap? of the star and i want to see if there's anything written on it mm. oh hell any yeah. Symbols, yeah, yeah any writing any designs so the cap is about uh maybe 10 meters mm -hmm. not less than uh, six meters or so of, of like like circumference of, of heavy stone but you can get like one of the shovels that mini loaded in and begin to just pry off uh uh mud and dirt and shit and I'll just begin to hands. get a sense for it it's, it's just it's a lot of it so you just yeah. need to get back and, and and pull it back and begin to get a sense for it uh, by the time they land you've cleared off one of the full caps and you can see that it has a sort of like a winding uh design of deep grooves of weathered stone that encircle the whole thing um once you step back far enough so that you can take in the whole thing there is definitely a pattern to it uh however it is in no, it's nothing that you recognize at least uh yeah. you could make an occult roll uh no this is this is specifically because uh, i figured there'd be something interesting and then you come down and go there's stuff and i'm like looking for something quite I'm possibly for something i yes. think this is for you miss sinclair oh goody oh by the way in the tents also there was um a captain a sergeant and, and a lieutenant who uh seemed to not be as um uh, ruinous as some of the other soldiers they seem to be perfectly fine so, well, if there's a captain, sergeant, and lieutenant who uh, treat their soldiers like that, when we find them, I am going to make them ruin us. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the design. Okay. 
So Minnie's going to take a look at that. What's what's everyone else doing? Well, Minnie's looking. Doctor, do you want my help? To, <laughs> do you want my help to pack up your um your uh, flying machine? Oh no, no, we'll we'll leave it here in case we need a quick getaway, eh? Hey? Right. Well, I mean. Just after that landing, I thought we might want to put it on the truck, but I leave it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's not a bad idea. A bit of a bit of a bit of a shorter takeoff. Yep. So yeah, like you said it would take a few hours to, to like do the the jury rig, the strap on the land, the I mean, takeoff. Yeah, I mean, getting the whole thing's actually quite. It's ultra light, but it's still got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. It'd probably you had to go and get it and bring it back, which has now been shortened because you've parked it so delicately well, nearby. I mean, It'll take you. It, that, that's fine. You guys can do that. As you mean to hold it up. And, hmm. Is there enough space to take off here? If, if you turn to? it around, yes, it will be a roll though, because it's not a you know not a very clean oh, one. Okay. So you, you can you can also, turn it around, just a straight roll. There'll be another problem with you landing at the next location. I yeah. I really think that this has saved us some time. You know, we got driving right away. You got the plane and drove it out. If we set it up here, we're not slowed down because Minnie's actively yeah. working. Right, that's what it's we'll still do. Still like the time. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so you guys begin to, to haul it up and get it into place. I will, uh, we'll have a roll at the end of it, but for the time being, you're just getting it up and, and, and settled in and beginning to get some ratchets on it. You can strap it on fine so that it, you, the car's a little hard to drive, but it's mm -hmm. on there. Getting like a breakaway ties so that you can actually take release. off under seat yeah. is going to be the more difficult part. Uh, but you two can begin to be working on that. Uh, Lieutenant Carter, what are you doing? You said they'd be helping me clear stones and. No, uh, you no. said that there was a... Uh, you brought a lot of guns. Yes. And these people have not been taking care of their equipment. No. So I am going to be... Uh, I'm going to have taken... A, uh, either I'll be in the car if there's enough space while these two faff, or I'll take uh, a bunch of the guns outside, plump myself down on one of the uh, shelled buildings, like a bit of stone, and uh, start methodically cleaning all of the guns that we have to make sure they're in perfect working order while also keeping an ear out for any unusual sounds mm. sorry let me clarify more unusual sounds than <laughs> dr sam hubert smith or wilhelmina sinclair perfect all right so give me an ear out and you can begin to clean down one of the weapons to prepare it. Uh, so as Minnie's going... I'd like what's to clean your... out three if I can, because there's three people who don't have good weapons right now. Go for it. And they are, these were the ones taken from the lockbox, so they're in relatively safe condition, but you're double-checking everything and making sure they're fine. Uh, Minnie, you, up. Not, yeah. what, what does your strategy look like because you're going through this? Is it fumbling through books and tracing things and drawing it oh, yeah. down? What's it well, look I've like? Well, I've got my dictionary, my Spanish dictionary in my hand because it's quite small, and then I've got my larger book of, of, of local myths and legends for uh, South American myths and legends kind of open propped on my uh on my on my, in my in the crook of my elbow um and i'm i'm going around the, looking at the the stone that first uh, the lieutenant so helpfully uncovered uh looking at that and then kind of circling the site to find other stones and you know, getting a picture of what the uh, cap may have looked like uh, as a whole and trying to just find a reference point for it I love that. So yeah, you begin to like you sketch out one of the pieces and draw that, and then you find another piece, and you think that might be part of this. It's if all of this was smaller, you'd be able to begin to puzzle it together because it's so large. You have to like scurry between areas, drawing out hmm. tracings, and kind of eyeballing where it goes, and take some time going back and forth. But you're very methodic, methodical in your practice, and soon you begin to see a, a piece coming together. There's sections missing that were just blown uh, apart, or you're not sure exactly how they piece together. But you've traced over some that you're pretty certain this is here, and then you've made educated guesses for the others. And after some time has passed, you're left with a fairly uh, reliable look. Uh, shape. It's a mass of strange swirling uh, stamps into the stone. Um, they're thick grooves and they appear to all connect into one another and then wind off, branching into others. It does appear to be written in some sort of ancient tongue or language, although you can't speak it and it certainly isn't Spanish. Um, it's almost reminiscent of hieroglyphics, but always connected. No piece ever stands independently. There's nothing just stamped on its own. It's always connected to the larger mass, almost like a thought spiraling off to reach completion and then circling back to the rest of it. You begin to mark it down. And mm -hmm. although you can't uh, understand the language directly, you do get a sort of a sense for it. And you'll find a couple of markings that are curious. They're there are five distinct points along it, uh, and one of them uh, you can see is a, like, the circle hits it and then drives down deeper into the stone and it's uh, almost rem uh, reflecting the 
the hole in the ground here and as it goes down at the very deepest point you find this on a sort of like a section uh, that's almost movable there is a like a, a, a twisted like nubule at the bottom that's almost like sharp and pointy and seems to have not been weathered by everything else it's a different uh it's a sort of like a black and much firmer stone that doesn't appear to have been affected by the rain there are five more of these pieces um and they are scattered out in different directions along it forming a pentagram across the whole stone itself and then in the mm. center there's a piece that is unfortunately broken it looks as where it, this is where the shell hit but all of the language all of the uh the spirals seem to be meeting there at the centermost point uh where there mm. is something of note unfortunately fallen to kingdom come uh, the other thing you can note is that yes. if you take this point which you believe to be possibly uh, representing this stone, and then you track where the vehicles were going, oh, yeah. they appear to match heading towards other ones. One of them cutting across the centre towards the central, possibly important thing, or beyond it to another cent point on the far side, uh, the other two heading towards adjacent pentagram pieces. Mm. Can I, I... I'm assuming I also have a map of the region just tucked away somewhere in, in one of the bits of my... Uh, of my... A notebook, my satchel, my my book holsters. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to mark where we are on my map of the region. Yep. Um, and I there is no distances based on on that, but no distances provided. Did any of the vehicles look like they'd found something of note when we were up in the air? So far, they just seem to be zigzagging back and forth. Okay. But we keep an eye on that. Uh, Lieutenant Cutter, can you make a listen roll, please, as you're keeping an eye out? And just as Hubert and Sam finish, like, ratcheting uh, things down. Okay. Um, nothing for the moment, then. Uh, all right. Uh, what does everyone want to do? I'm going to hurry back to the vehicle uh, with my with all of my books, my notes, and my maps. Um, okay. So uh, this is this is a, one point of a uh, five-pointed stone. If you think pentagram, you're correct. Uh, with something in, of import, of great import, in the middle. So this is not the middle. This is just one point, and it looks like the soldiers are looking for the other point so that they can triangulate and find whatever is in the middle. Um, I know our I know our instructions were to uh, find a temple and um, maybe retrieve a mummy. I don't know necessarily if this is the temple or if this is uh, just one of the uh, waypoints for it um i think we will need to uh, keep a close eye on the soldiers and have a look for these other points ourselves uh but it is definitely worth investigating this one uh so we know what the points actually serve as a purpose um all of the all of the writing and the markings spiral into a point in the center uh, which may actually be our, our true destination. Doctor, uh, if you've got a clear view of the where the other cars were heading from the sky, can yeah. we reverse engineer where the centre should be? Can we just head in from this point here and try and I find think it? That might, I think that might be the best idea. I mean, if, I suspect if, that'll if, be if, our, our goal, yes, but I don't think it, they found the other points yet, so we've got nothing to triangulate against. No, but if, if they've, they've already got a head start in this... And they do. They've, they've got three, three trucks and we, we're just one... Um, I think we've got to got to play every advantage we can get. They, I'd I mean, like to know what's in this one before we before we uh, investigate what might be in the centre because it, it looks like whatever's in the centre is the a big important thing uh, and is likely to be uh, whatever this is, but more uh, in the interest of being prepared. This right. battleground, this place. Uh, you don't think that whatever this place it has to do with you know the surrounding area it led to a battle do you you know i mean if it's something valuable in 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 whatever is underneath then then possibly yes certainly people have fought wars for less right uh, resources that's why we're all here okay well okay well uh, yeah I, I i i'm with the doctor here i think we try and turn inwards up so sorry search this area like you said Minnie, and then turn inwards and try and i mean I'm no expert, but if it's a star, then I guess the temple's either that way or that way, right? Well, based we... on the direction that everybody else went, they haven't found the other points yet. It could be... Should we, should we split up one more time if, if some people want to look around here and see what they can find out? And, um, you know, some of us 
uh, head back up and, and keep an eye on the soldiers. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe a scout from the sky. We can keep an eye on them, let them do the work for us. And then once we've triangulated a few from the sky, we just head straight to the center. And the plan. Once again, Dave, I apologize for breaking this campaign by insisting on having a flying machine. <laughs> Hell yeah! So you've just, <laughs> yeah, that's that's where it's up. Uh, so you want to? Uh, so you've just finished ratching it down. You can sort of loosen things up enough enough like, to just, just plan finish. to try and take off on the on the car, or do you, or is if you look to Hubert and go, can you pop that back down again? Actually, I'll take off here. No, I mean, if we spent the time setting it up, even though we didn't need to. Maybe now's the time to test it, make sure yeah, it does yeah, work. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be testing it in like a clutch moment. You That's need right. To be, you, it will you know definitely be harder to take off on the on the car, so it'll be a hard pilot roll, but it'll be sweet. <coughs> it's not mad for this. Maybe you kind of do want to test it in a clutch moment. <sighs> I reckon we practice it. All right. I mean, is it, do we feel like we're in a bit of a time pressure here, or...? That, uh, well, it's I not, mean, they seem to be heading off in directions that you don't exactly know what they're hunting for. But I mean, you are working yeah. against an, a, an, a better uh, yeah. prepared. Because the worst case scenario is we try to take off now. It ends up in it. a tree, and then we lose that one advantage we have. It's not going to end soldiers. up in a tree. It's fine. You've got this. You're a great pilot, Sam. You've got this. But look, I, I completely agree that's the way to go because if they find these other points, then we can use that to triangulate ourselves and head straight for the center and and beat them there, hopefully. Um, I, I do think the center is where we're going to end up. However, I would like to be at least a little bit prepared. So I'm going to go down the hole and Lieutenant, I would like some company. I'm As some heavily to armed. to make sure no one does anything stupid. So... Going or at down least be there when we do, right? <laughs> would be stupid, yes. Going down on your own would be stupid, so... Well, I think going down in general is nice. Possibly Did not you say you had a map, idea, but, um, Oh, yes, of the region, of course. And we'll just spread I... it out in the hood of the car. Yeah, no, no, right. yeah. Spread that out. Can you... Uh, I'll grab the mud map that we were given and put that down next to it and your drawing, which is also kind of a map at this mm -hmm. point, and lay that down. Um, I'm a tactician. Mm -hmm. I look at maps and I work out where things are likely to be and where good places for things are likely to have gone. Uh, can I take a look at all of the reference material we currently have and see if I can work out some sort of based mm. on landmarks and geography where some of these things might be? So, yes, it, it is tough, though, because as many said, currently you don't have a sense of, you don't know the scale of the pentagram nor it. the orientation of it. As long as you only have one point... We it's almost impossible. As soon as you get a second point, you can begin to figure it out. That said, you can make a navigation roll. Navigation can I, can I assist with either, with either, with either navigation. Spanish navigation. or library use or any of the nerdy well, shit that I've got? Listen, I, I think this is that, really um, just putting... I mean, generally, yeah. you're just limited. Once you have the second point, you can begin to put it together. Oh, At the oh, moment, oh. you're kind of guessing. You're saying, all right, if these two went in this direction, mm, we yeah. can assume that those two are maybe other points and then guess based on that. And if point. we go... Very, very very quickly if the two of you want to head down i believe mm. that i believe that the doctor and i are both navigators him from flying yes. and me from hiking this I'm might be something you can leave with us upstairs while we're messing around with the machines i'm By going to uh, hold the map up and just the only reason i'm doing this is this is what i do this is mm -hmm. this is like what i'm trained yeah, like but once for, we, it'll be once we get the second reasons. point that'll be your that'll be your time to shine once we get the second point but without it it's just although it is interesting i don't actually have particularly good navigate because i wasn't sure exactly what tactics falls yeah, under well, so we can change i, I mean, guess dif dif different skills yeah um although we've got two navigators mm. yeah honestly i was hoping for an idea role that was what i was oh. Oh. i mean the idea yeah, would generally show you get the second point and you'll have it mm. Sorry, what was that? Get the, oh, the if idea. you find another point, you you can try right. it from that. You can also begin That's to figure out like there Makes are, sense. you know, it, it depends on the scale. If this is what if this goes across regions? What if there's one point here yeah. and the other ones in another, right. you know, country in South America, or one's beneath the sea? You... I mean, the war is in Bolivia and Portugal. It's there's who knows. Mm. All right. Well, very good. In that case, we will leave that for the time being, Hubert. Mm -hmm can uh, have a look at that um have fun lads and right and head will... towards the hole i guess uh, okay i've got lanterns i've got some um, uh, we didn't we didn't happen to find uh, d d dare i ask 
when I was looking through the armory, we didn't find any um, of my out of character personal favorite <laughs> things: <laughs> grenades. <laughs> uh, make a make a luck roll. I spent it all. You can have a little. You can have a little <laughs> grenade. Maybe, and a treat. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think you could have several I little grenades as a treat. Uh, hell yeah. All right, take six. Yeah. Oh I'm going to like, pass, like look around. Oh my God. Gonna, it's in a little crate. Huh. Uh, uh, Lieutenant, one for you. Uh, there is a, 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 like, you hold one out. There is a, a hardening and then a, a no thank you. Right. Okie dokie, one for me. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna offer the crate to uh, to the lads. Uh, uh, I, I, I thought about these when we were in the air before, Sam. Uh, I mean, if somebody points a gun at you, you can just drop one of these on them. Uh, yeah. Is better than getting shot out of the sky. I, I guess I guess we could. Um, just just take one or two. No 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 no, no sense in not having them on on board. I guess. I just I worry about you getting shot out of the sky in this thing. I, yeah. I, yeah, no. It, it hasn't been yeah. battle tested. Yep. Yeah. No worries. So we'll um I'll uh Getting stitch shot him out away. of the sky with a plane full of grenades. Well not a plane full, just one or two. You can just uh, I mean, It is going to make it worse. We were talking about shot, ranged shot things. And it it feels good. I mean, I would feel safer if you had some sort of offensive with you up in the air rather than just uh, I've got it, my this rifle. thing is mostly cardboard. I've got my rifle if things go really bad, but uh, look, if if if, you, if you're on board, uh, you you can you can take some with you. How's that? Well, I'm not coming up with you. No, but next time you are. I mean, who's coming yeah. up? Uh, we got I, I got uh, uh, Huey with me. I, I think I'm, I'm gonna. I think you're going up yourself. Yeah, I'll stay up here. I'll be driving the car to get you going. Um, all right, mm. all right. Well, I'll, I'll take one just, just, just for emergencies. Just in, just in case you need to drop, drop it on somebody. Just pop um, it in your pocket. Yeah. And I will take one also just in case. And uh, these can go under the seat and pop the crate back under the, uh, like, secure it under safe. a seat. Yeah. Okay. So, Mini, you've grabbed a couple. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Pop those in your pocket. That's related. Dr. Thompson, you grab one, jam it in there too. Lieutenant Carter and uh, Mrs. Smith, untempted for the moment. Um, so Hubert gets into the into the car, starts the engine, and Hubert, the ropes come in through the windows, and it's like when you have to do a shitty strapping because you've done a, like a loaded from Bunnings or whatever, so you've got all the ratchets going in through the windows and shit and attached underneath. Uh, your current player would probably be drive fast enough uh, and then cut the ropes. <laughs> yes, I think, I think first of all... Didn't, like, didn't they do quick release, sorry, sorry quick release knots? Pardon me? Yeah. Yeah, you were talking uh, about yes. quick release. Yeah. So like, uh, you could you could do some clever nodding. We, we need to get one key step. Mm. Which was check the map. Which was slap it and say, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. And that's it would have gone yeah. somewhere other. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> Good save. He is okay. the dad. <laughs> but, um, well, uh, the other thing is that I think that before we take off, um, we are going to have a look at the map that Carter was analyzing uh, while Carter and Minnie head down into the hole. Sure. You could try again. Um, it's going to be time until you have a set. You really don't have much to go on at the moment. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, we just take a glance at it and then we'll, we'll, we'll. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Noting. Sure. Cool. I am possibly going to swap some points around if that's all right. Yeah, I have uh, limited additional survival and first aid, but given that we have a doctor, mm. I'm not sure I need first That'd aid. So, yeah. Fire at will. Okay. Uh, so Dr. Sam and uh, Hubert then gather around the map for the moment. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a navigation roll then as, as Minnie and Lieutenant Carter are getting their bits together and getting ready to, to descend. Uh, if one sure. wants to roll, the other one can provide a bonus dice. Uh, I'll provide you for bonus die. Um, oh, you're too kind. Doc. Ha! Okay. All right. That's how we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not bad. Uh, so... Uh, if you assume that the other two have gone towards points and you assume that they're accurate, 
then the third one that headed straight east should go past either the point in the center or be heading towards one of the points on the other side. Now, if you assume that they're all within driving range through deep jungle and they're scouring back and forth and that there's a chance they might actually find it, then you begin to get a sense for where things are. And based off all of that, the central point should be only a couple hours bound east straight through the jungle the other Hours. notable thing is yeah because you got to run around trees and shit like it's not an easy drive the other mm. notable thing though is that people have been in this region for like a while if there's a temple there someone would have found it like based on all this scale it's not i mean it's deep jungle but people live around here and there was mm. hell there was military fighting around here there are people like walking back and forth it's someone would have stumbled into it mm. Yeah. Uh, well, well, we, we, well, we've got it. We've got an idea now. We verify all those things. So let's get in the sky. Let's okay. do it. All right. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Doctor Sam gets up into the flying machine and begins to start the engine. The propeller swings. No. Is this no? This is oh, a bad no. idea. Or... I, yes, this is what yes, I'm, doing. I'm doing, it. and I'm no, doing this... it despite knowing it's a bad idea. Great, I love that. <laughs> okay, uh, begin to spin the propeller, and you get everything up to speed. Hubert, from your side, you pull the car around. The whole thing, it's so top heavy. Every time you turn, it like creaks over a little bit. You basically want to do a pretty straight run. You begin to slowly ease up on the pedal, uh, jamming it. Uh, closer to the ground as the car surges forward slowly at first and then picking up speed. You're making minute adjustments to sort of weave around uh, obstacles in the distance as from up above, <laughs> Sam, the thing begins to go faster and faster. And Hubert, every now and then the truck does a little like a lot backwards a little bit as it picks up. Now, this is going to be a hard pilot check to get this up off the ground. <laughs> Hubert, do you want to attempt to help? Do you want to make a drive yes. auto roll? Also, uh, I'm, sorry, actually, I'm going to do it's normal, but it's going to be with a penalty dice, given the things on top of you as you're mm -hmm. weaving around structures and things. If you succeed, you'll give a bonus dice to Dr. Sam. However, if you fail, you'll give him a penalty dice. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, Sam, I imagine we discussed this. What was your call? Uh, try, every, try everything once. All right. Go for it. All right. Make a drive auto with a penalty roll. Oh, penalty dice, rather. Penalty. Uh, okay, I will give you uh, 13 points of luck. Okay. Thank goodness. Uh, Hubert sees the straight run and then swings around and finds an angle between a couple that allows him to get much faster up to speed. It's hammering along now. And Hubert, you can see in the distance where the trades begin to uh, pick up again. That's the end point. You get to that, you're going to have to stop. But in the meantime, uh, it's basically a, you have to commit. And Hubert, you're the one that's going to need to commit it because you're the one that's going to let the knot loose and everything. So uh, as you get to speed, you can release all the ties and dr sam can you please make a uh hard pilot check with a bonus dice as you try and take Thank off goodness. from the roof of the car <laughs> bad bonus dice okay 61 are you in luck range no might have to push it you're gonna have to push um, it 61 minus 35 is 26 they're leaving with two points of luck <laughs> You really want to get this plane off the ground. Yeah. So yeah. here's my here's, here's what I'm thinking. If you if you fail, uh, you are going to take off, but you're too low and you clip the trees and your landing gear is oh busted. You can't land again easily. So you're going to be committed to the air for a while until you're willing to sort of basically, you know, crash land and then, you know, skid it a bit, try and minimize damage and in lead future repairs. If you push it, maybe it's a free takeoff. The risk, though, is proper into a tree. Again, it probably won't be lethal, and it probably can be repaired in time, but the plane will be out of commission for the foreseeable until you can get it back somewhere to a hangar and really, really put it back to pieces. Back together, not to pieces. <laughs> Pull it to pieces to put it back together. Yeah. I think this is a all-luck situation. Really? I don't okay. like my odds of getting a, yeah. a hard success after a pushed roll without being able to spend luck to bring it down to a hard. So... You're not going to yeah. just take the fail and lose your landing gear? Because that doesn't seem Keep like those couple worse. points of luck, dude. Yeah, I'd, right. I'd, I'd, I'd risk a, a right, dodgy landing. Fail. 
What does that mean? Lose the landing gear. So Lose as you take gear. off, you're close. You've gotten a straight run. You try and heave back on it. You're up. You're in the sky. You can feel the breeze. Everything is going right. But oh my God, you're <laughs> just down too and... low. Actually, you know what it is? Something distracts you. Just as you're yeah. at the highest point, you're just beginning to clear over the trees. And you think you see a glint of something in the trees. And for moments, you see a flash of something. You've got that sort of kinship with animals. There's a monkey clambered right up the top, looking up at you. It's cheeks puffed out and going, and it's holding something <laughs> shiny in its hand. It goes, and then as you move up, it uh, there's an eruption of flame from what? wherever it is. There's a singe. A number of birds go out. You it's heave the propeller flat. to the side and the plane winds away from it, avoiding the flame, avoiding the birds that surge into the sky, but clipping the lowest branches. And one of your wheels gets like knocked off to the side. It's still attached, sorry. It's like twisted around and you like feel mm. the lurch as you rewrite it and you've got it. Um, and you have control of the plane as it, you know, bounce a little bit, but it takes off in the sky. Hubert, you jam on the brake, swing it around. You're able to stop short, seeing Dr. Uh, Sam soar off, but not without noticing that, hey, it looks like his wheel is a little uh, uh, askew there. He might yeah. have trouble uh, touching back down. Does, does Hubert see this burst of flame that came out from the forest? Yeah. Uh, when he Thank impacted or just nearby, make, it, make a spot hidden roll, please, Hubert. Absolutely. Coming right up. Spot hidden is made. Hard success. Mm. Yeah, mm. uh, where he took off, there was a, like a gout of flame for just a fraction of a second. And you thought it might have been like something really serious where Dr. Sam hit something on the way up. But he seems to be flying so fine. There's no smoke coming from him. There's a smoke coming from the tree. You just make out. You want to clarify something? Can I immediately reach under the seat and check if all the grenades are there? <laughs> yeah. It's on, like, the passenger. You pull them out and count them. Yep, there's, they're all there. Minnie's okay, got the rest. Okay, then I'm really confused. Looking up, you can just make out uh, a small furry figure leap from one tree to another and a gleam mm -hmm. of something shiny with it. It's a... And away into the jungle. It's a monkey the with a flamethrower. Monkey with a flamethrower. Monkey with a flamethrower. Once I've parked the car, I might head over towards the monkey, but that'll be a longer process, so um, the others might call me or come out of the hole or whatever beforehand. Well, you're, you're, you're a little ways away, so if you want to go back towards the hole to be within oh, shouting range or head towards hole. it. Dealer's choice. Uh, I think. Let's get away from the monkey that can shoot fire. Okay. <laughs> Gotta pick your battles. Uh, you head back towards the others. Steal the flamethrower the monkey. I'm out of here. That, that sounds like something that's much easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As like I'm saying, I'm like, no. Bandy from baby. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, back at the uh, the hole in the ground, uh, Lieutenant Carter and Minnie, uh, you've all prepared. Shall you begin your descent? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Who's going down first? I am. Okay. Weapons unslung. <laughs> uh, we handgun and, and torch. Handgun okay. and torch. Right. You begin to down. head down, uh, down the stone steps and deeper into the earth. Are the stone steps wide enough that we're not concerned about things like uh, climbing gear, or uh, is that something that we like? You're looking at it, being like, that seems unstable. Uh, oh, it, 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 you probably brought rope, definitely. Right. Uh, okay, you might cool. have even tethered yourself. Uh, the the car did have a winch, which Dr. Sam has repaired to some degree. Okay. You could latch yourself to that, and that'll give you a runway. And depending on how deep it goes, you should be fine. Oh, sorry, the car's not here. Never mind. So you've you've no. tied it off to a rope at the top. Um, so and it's, to it's like dangerous down. stairs, or is it just like old stone steps? Uh, old stone steps. They're quite wide, but in the center is just a hole down into the ground, and they're only they're only like. They're like normal steps. Like, if it yeah. was in your house, you wouldn't be worried about going down them at all. But because there's that giant hole just nearby, mm. you're, like, hugging the side and very close. But again, they are weathered um, and very dusty. They're not wet or anything, but you can see chipped sections. And each step down is a little bit more than you'd be comfortable with normally. You have to make a little drop down towards it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are also each... They're not connected. They're just... Uh, oh, plunging out no. platforms that you have to step down and there's like it's just empty underneath so each step is a little precarious and if one of them gives way uh you'd be in trouble okay definitely gonna okay. bring rope but uh i don't know if it's worth actually setting up climbing gear and everything I just, uh, uh, rope around waist rope mm -hmm. secured at top yeah rope around shoulder head down are you each basic, tied basic independently security. yeah yeah okay all right you begin to descend 
Uh, heading down inside this thing, it's immediately you, you lose the sound of the, the jungle. Up above, you lose the sound of the, the cars driving, and it's very uh, quiet, dusty, and old. Uh, the walls around the outside are um, smooth and uh, packed dirt, but as you get lower, completing a full first uh, clockwise rotation, uh, you'll see that there has been stones set in place to make this almost seem like going deep down into a well. As you get further down, the uh, light above is now like a you know a single sun at the highest point, and you're now navigating on the torches and lanterns that you carried with you. Uh, you will see that there is a section where a uh, portion of the stairs have broken away. Only two or three short steps, but enough that means you'll need to make a leap across to get to the other side. You also notice just on the perimeter of your vision, there is a something slumped on the other side and down a few steps. As you raise it out and peer across, it looks to be a body and it looks to be in a soldier's uniform. Mm. That's mighty suspicious. All right, well, we either, uh, we are, the, the walls of this thing, is it rough? hewn or is it relatively smooth? Pretty, pretty smoothly made. You could, you could try and drive a pick into it to give yourself a tying off point. Um, Mm. Okay. Um, you said it's it's gonna be a jump, essentially. It'll be a jump. Okay. I am not good at jumping. I. I'm not awful at it. If I do not change my character sheet from what I had originally, then I'm actually not terrible at jumping. I'm not great. I'm not terrible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to jump. If you want to continue going down here, unless you have another route. No, we're no, gonna do it. Uh, I mean, the alternative is try and climb along the walls or, or uh, do something like that. Uh, we're gonna do it. So climbing would be climbing would definitely be more difficult. There's minute mm -hmm. finger grips. Uh, it'd be mm -hmm. pretty pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Is it done? All right. Uh, I guess jump it is. Then I will. I will go first and risk mm. yeeting myself. Uh, well, we've got the ropes for now. And if I fail, if I, look, if I fail the jump, at least I can climb. Yeah. All right. Uh, jump rolls. Okay. Both go ahead and make a jump roll for me, please. Oh, nope. that's a fumble. It is indeed. Oops. Oh no. It's a womp womp. Uh, you can spend 10 points luck to cancel the fumble and pulp. I can. Oh, you can? You can. Oh, yeah. can. The moment you can't luck a fumble, uh, it's, it's, it's still a fail, but... Uh, oh, I oh think, no, I'm uh, wrong. That's for Mail, weapons, it's only weapons. Yeah. Only for weapons. Unfortunately. Uh, mini. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. So, uh, both of you sort of get on the edge, and Lieutenant Carter, you make the first leap across. You get to the edge, and, and you have to give yourselves, because there's no run up point, you actually have to go up a couple steps and then, like, rush down each and then leap across to the other side, and you catch on it. And uh, I've already you're... fumbled, right? Mm hmm. So, what's the risk of pushing it? You can't push it. You can't push a fumble? Can't push no. fumbles. Ah, yeah. okay. Because you've already, you're already at fumble. that point. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. You leap across to the other side and your your boots sort of skitter, skit oh. along it. Uh, a bit of dust comes off and you stand there. The ropes are swaying above you and looking up, you seem all right. You wait for Minnie <laughs> to make the leap over. And as you look down behind you, you can see that this is a body of one of the soldiers. And it looks as though they've been sort of like uh, slashed at. Their uniform is torn away and there's large, those sort of like, uh, like muscle, muscle bubbling flesh from those friction tears just along the side. Minnie, steps back as well and makes the leap across. It's a little, you know, touch and go, but she lands on the stone and as she gets to it, you take a step back so that she has space to land. And as you stand on the stone behind you, there's a crack and it falls out away and the mm -hmm. rope uh, rushes up and goes taut. Hubert, just can I try as- and, Can I try and grab them if I'm there? Yes. Oh, good call. Uh, so hold on. Hubert, just as you're returning, uh, you see, um, 
uh, the two ropes have been tied off at the highest point. You pull the car up and, and, and park it. Uh, looking down, you can't see them immediately, but suddenly one of the ropes comes taut and you see where it was tied off. The, ro the uh, rock shifts a little bit, having been broken, and the mm -hmm. line begins to run out from underneath it. Oh, uh, Lieutenant gosh. Carter goes, it goes taut, you go down, it begins to give way. Uh, mm -hmm. Minnie, you could give me a dex roll to try and get to the rope and catch it. You're still gonna, it's still gonna be strength to actually hold up Lieutenant. Actually, let's go straight to the strength roll. You can catch it, fine. I uh, don't have strength, so... You catch the rope, and if hey. you... Okay, all right. Uh, oh. You dig your heels in on the hey. other side. You fall. Your ass oh, lands shit. on the, the stone that you're on, but your feet get across the empty gap to the next one with the body on it, brace against it, and the line goes taut again, and you're holding it uh, tight. <laughs> Lieutenant Carter, you have shit. plummeted several... Uh, several stories and are hanging in empty space uh as you like swing about at the lowest point uh, i am going to ask you to take a d6 of damage just from oh, falling and being crack. caught Ooh. uh and you can also see that at the extreme point of your lantern uh it the you think it's the ground or something but then it begins to shift slightly and you see something begin to rise up oh, no. out of it a large tendril can you please make a sanity roll for me yes. oh god this is terrible no this is great <laughs> no. okay uh that is going to be a d4 as you haven't seen much yet and it's only just the edge of it Two. okay uh, what do you what do you say? What's your response? Minnie is holding it currently, the, and you can begin to feel your muscles like trembling a bit as you're holding Carter. And if she does anything, if there's any sort of like you know big swing or anything, and also Hubert, Hubert you're above. You can hear them yelling. I'm hoping that Hubert's uh, yeah, up there I will and be yelling. Tearing over, I will be trying to grab a rope. So there's something moving. Yes, at the at the edge of your vision. Uh, am I... I fell directly between some stairs, so there's no stairs Shortly nearby. after, there is a... There is a large, oh, sorry, there, there are, but they are further along. You'd have to sort of oh, do a swinging it... thing to get to them. It just widened up as it has gone down. Okay. So you have to swing yourself across and maybe land what down. Is this, what would a swing be? Would that be dex? Yeah, I'd say, I'd, I'd say dex. Okay. It's pretty suitable. Uh, I am going to first and foremost uh, attempt to swing to grab something. Okay, don't um, roll just yet, but go ahead and explain. Yeah, I'm I'm going to, uh, you know, maneuver and try and swing and grab the most, the, the closest step so I can at least get on firm ground, even though my rope is not uh, connecting. Mm -hmm. uh, and depending on how much time I have, I'm going to whip around and shoot the thing. Okay, all right, so you can begin to try and swing yourself. Uh, Hubert, where are you going? Are you trying to grab the rope at the highest point? It slipped past that, or are you going down towards uh, Minnie in the... I was about to say, so if the rope um, was still moving, I was going to try and skid the car onto it and, like, park on it <laughs> so that it was stuck. Um, but it looks like it stops falling it stops, down because yeah. Minnie grabs it. So I get out of the car, I run to it, and I'm just going to grab it at the top of its arc. So I'm standing okay. at the top of the pit, and I'm just going to... Seal that. That's my first thing to do. Okay, got it. So you're holding that. Um, all right, nice. uh, Lieutenant Carter, can you please make a dex roll then as you try and swing yourself across towards it? Yes. Nice. Uh, Mini, can you make this a strength roll? I'm actually good at. With uh. a bonus dice? Immense. Immense. Uh, you're able to hold on to it, and uh, as Lieutenant Carter swings across, uh, the first one, you're able to just get like one of your boots towards it. You hold on and just with friction you're able to lean yourself across and then you're standing on it you get a little bit of slack from Minnie and you're able to stand there and as you lean down um, to level your pistol at the thing you can see that that tendril has risen significantly uh, more and it seems to be angled it's now away from you and as you catch on the light it's moving something a mass this sort of stretching horror is uh, climbing uh, up the outside of one of the sets of stairs okay uh, in that case, I am going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to yell up, uh, Minnie, run! Uh, I'm going to slice the rope so that, uh, so that I'm not connected because that's Sweet. the dumb thing to have at the moment, and then I'm going to, um... 
I'm going to book it up the stairs. Okay. You slice the rope, yelling to run, and then you begin to run up the stairs. As you're going, you you put a hand against the wall and uh, can feel your fingers hitting bumps and ridges. And as you're making the ascent, you realize that on the wall, on the interior down here, down at the lower point where it begins to widen, there are hieroglyphics, more symbols marking in it, and they're more detailed than the ones above. Do you continue to run? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not you the occultist. I'm the I'm the fighter. <laughs> I wanted to say very quickly. Totally sensible decision to cut the rope. Absolutely. You don't want that just dangling. My next action was going to be like to yell, "Take a shot at it!" And I start lifting you up as you're wow, firing you're, you're down really down light. towards it. Would have been pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like Hubert, with his size and and everything, probably wouldn't even notice the difference yeah. between lifting someone Carter's size and lifting an empty rope. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yelling. All right, uh, okay. Carter, you begin to to run up the alley outside uh, angling but this thing is moving quickly uh mini and hubert what are you doing have we seen this thing i do we no. make a sentence yeah. it's, it's too far down for the moment okay um well i can hear yelling i know that there's some kind of disaster i've got the rope do i feel the change of weight do i yeah. know something oh, actually come up mini's it? holding it at the at the first but yes you can all communicate that unless anyone's okay. trying to hide it yeah yep. uh, okay yeah, I, I'm assuming... cut the rope. all I'm, right I'm coming case, up. i will let go and i will sprint down down in to the uh, facility i'm trying to mm, yeah try i'm not gonna go until i see carter if i can't see carter yet okay then i'm, I'm not going anywhere till i can see carter and then so hubert, and then hubert you're a couple rotations up so you oh, begin to, to head down towards it mini you stand up you are also noting still on the side that there is a gap between you and ascending you'll need to make yeah. the jump back the other way do you hopefully, want to do that first or are you waiting for Carter? I'm going to wait till Hubert because hope, if I stuff this up, I want somebody there to catch me. Okay. In that case, Hubert, can you give me a dexterity roll? Is just, this is just determining how quickly you can make it down. As Carter, you can, uh, the others can track what? Carter's ascent because oh. their light is bobbing and mm. you'll also just begin to make out something behind it. Hubert, you get what? to the other side where Minnie is waiting just as Carter begins to make that ascent up the outside circle. Uh, they're rushing as fast as they can, uh, leaping between the stone steps, okay. lanterns, swinging and gun in the other hand the severed rope dangling and trailing on the on the ground uh behind as you all gather together and prepare to make the jump just on the well, outside of the light you're gonna Hubert see it is on the other side and can, Hubert is and now can Hubert catch is. me you will just see a th of something extending out and then fully in the light here what where the... all of you can focus it you will see what there is, is a large sort of formless elastic mass it's about the size of the truck you drove here in and each uh the outer side the outside of it has a sort of a sheen to it and a stretchiness that seems to be constantly pulling taut in sections almost bubbling out and then receding backwards into sort of uh. like a, a, a spongy looking skin a number of tendrils lash out around it allowing it to move underneath the stairs above it around it or stretched along the walls and it's moving quite quickly tendrils lashing out and sort of like sparking at uh, carter's boots as they just Sprint forward, outpacing the creature. Oh, Can I now get absolutely everyone? Absolutely not. In, uh, everyone to make a sanity roll, including you, Carter, because this is now seeing it fully, but we'll factor in your previous loss. Mm -hmm. Sanity coming up. Not too bad. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, so it'd be one point uh, for those that succeeded. Carter, you don't take any. You've already hit, taken a hit. Uh, Hubert, it's going to be a D10 okay for you. Because I'm drunk. Four. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Not too bad. Just a four. All right, everyone, update your totals. Oh, and that's right, Minnie, I'm going to update your uh, sober up <laughs> tally. A sober up total, which is just a two. Which that's is fine. just a two. That's fine, um, that's good, we're good. So this thing is right behind you and reaching out, uh, stretching towards. Hubert is on right. one oh, side shit. of the jump. Uh, actually, sorry, there's actually not. now two holes in the stairs. The first one is a single jump, and you can make that one, Carter, without issue. That's the one that fell underneath you. But the second is like two or three, and it's up and at an angle. Uh, what is everyone immediately doing? And actually, um, we'll, roll the, we'll take... do this in dexterity Oh, okay, order. dex order. Yeah, okay. My dex is bottom. 50. My dex is 80. Yeah. And I got uh, go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and roll them for me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Okay. So, the thing is going to go first. There's no one beat an extreme. Uh, oh, so come on. <laughs> as, you, as you get towards it, Hubert, you're holding out towards them. Uh, this thing is going to lash out towards uh, Carter. Uh, do you want to dodge or do you want to try and uh, like slam at it with the, the pistol? Uh, can I not shoot it? Uh, not on a riposte, no. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, I will dodge. Okay, go for it. Uh, can you go ahead and make your first? Ooh, nice dodge. 
Not bad. I'm gonna make my attack. My uh, fire alarm has just gone off. Hang on. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Disaster. Atmosphere. I've been waiting for mine to go off because I've done it right after the stream twice now. Oh no. Really? Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's a success. As the first one comes out, the second's going to fire at you again. Uh, Carter, if you can make another roll for me, please. Um, you... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, fuck yeah, I should, I should have sat on it. Uh, you uh, uh, slam up against the wall, leap again, and then get to the point. The thing's slashed out at you twice, each one barely nicking you, but you're able to stay out of the way, and now you're at the top and you're able to make the jump. So first up was... Minnie's actually last, so that kind of works for us. Uh, Carter, you're going to be first. Um, I don't intend to make the jump until Minnie's across. My job is to protect people, so I'm going to whip around. I'm going to take three shots at that tentacle that's trying to catch Hell us. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, the other one would be if you want to give Minnie a bonus dice on the jump. You could just be ready to throw her. Um, If it makes any of your decision clearer, I can be on the other side going, grab my hand to provide a bonus die. And also you could grab Minnie's rope and just haul her across because she's still attached. Oh, I can do that on my turn. So you can see me about to do that. If, yeah, if that I think uh, what I want to do is is keep this thing from trying to like grab Minnie and pull her back. So I, okay. find, I think that's more important for me is to just keep this thing occupied and then with the two of them on the other side, I'll take a leap and hope that one or both of them can grab me because, oh boy. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm going to take three shots of this thing. Go ahead. Uh, each one's going to be with a... It's going to be with two bonus dice given the size of it. Mm -hmm. uh, roll the first. First is a hard success. Uh, two... Bonus is hard success. Okay, so before you roll a second, as you fire, um, you like squeeze up the shot. There's a flash of light. You can see this thing completely. The bullet hits, goes inside it, and you can see the elasticity of it immediately snap shut. Uh, you can fire the other ones, uh, keeping it at bay, but uh, these weapons appear to have no effect on it. Uh, it's just uh, it's just absorbing them into the mass and then just snap shot. These tiny little pinpricks, unable to break through its sort of gelatinous form as it continues to surge forward. Um, you can take another okay. step back. You're between it and Mini. Um, Hubert, what do you want to do? I will try and yank Minnie across the gap uh, via her rope. Can you make a strength roll, please? Coming up. Only Success. Someone. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're able to haul her across and she sort of um, uh, gets basically lifted out into the air, hanging thing, and then you can tie her up, uh, pull her up and she's on the other side standing, ready to leave. And before we go to Minnie's turn, <laughs> given the they're on fire, we'll step back across to Dr. Sam, who's taken to the sky. Hell yeah. So, uh, you know, things uh things 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 were a bit shaky there, but I'm back in the air. You're up, you're floating, Lancer you're flying around. It's all good. Yeah, um you begin a, to It's beautiful, it's clear, clear skies. <laughs> Serene calmness no washes tombs. over me. No, no tombs, holes in the ground, no, no, no horrible, horrible monsters. Yeah, it's, a, it's to... a good day to be alive. And just sort of wind along the 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 air. Uh where are you heading towards? Was the intent to keep keep tabs on the other I think i understood what the plan was uh based on the fact that uh we're looking for a pentagram mm. keep an eye on where the, the other trucks are and see if we can figure out if they find yeah sure. right. i'll do my best you know what i'm you know what i want you know what i want i want to and, find the uh, thing I'll make that happen uh. find the thing by looking at the other people and doing the maths yeah <laughs> Is 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 that Minnie explained Dr. it to me. It's fine. Is that also kind of Doctor Set? Because you're very vibe based too, right? You're like, I'm in the sky. Yeah. We'll just see what happens. That's I'll right. Just prove exactly, it. exactly right. Until okay. uh, until I get a good feeling about where I am. Okay, perfect. Uh, so you begin to cruise around. Uh, you're heading towards. Are you heading towards the one that cut across the center? Heading vaguely towards the middle mass or and beyond, or to one of the ones on the sides, the two flanks that are probably looking for other points on the pentagram. Right, so I think two of them are looking for points, and one of them is just like going for the center, hoping to stumble across it. Across or, it or across to the points on the other side, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, I just go, I'll go to the closest where I think the okay. where I think the closest point is. Sure. So you mean to? Yeah. I mean, you were taking off bound sort of northward, so you can wind across and begin to head down towards it. And <laughs> as you approach, you're soaring along. As long as you're in the air, there seem to be no uh, difficulties with the plane, so it flies fine. And then as you're just beginning to lower down, you can't spot exactly where they are. It's all within thick jungle. You'll suddenly uh, see a 
of dust and clotted Ooh. like earth fire up into the sky. And then a moment later, you hear the boom of the uh, dynamite that triggered it. Um, as you wind across from it, you can uh, sort of, uh, keeping your distance and out of range, you can sort of swing around and across, and you'll see a number of uh, soldiers gathered around another broken apart section, another one of these mm. pentagram points, uh, which has been knocked back. The truck is off towards one side, and a number of soldiers are uh, firing guns down into it as something begins to come up the edge of the stairs and towards them, emerging from the hole in the ground. Uh, what's your immediate <laughs> instinct? Uh, not die. Are you wheeling around to look closer? Are you, are you, are you turning back? Are you staying here, like sort of hanging in the area to kind of see how things pro yeah, progress? Yeah, I want to see what happens. I'm going to make sure I'm at a safe distance, but yeah, I better see what happens. Okay, awesome. You sort of wheel around as you watch two soldiers firing down into it, suddenly get grabbed by some black tentacle oh. and dragged down into the darkness. There's a scream and two more of them standing by the truck walk forward very matter-of-factly, uh, level shotguns in and fire. One, two... <laughs> Um, as something comes up, another two soldiers are dragged down and you'll spot one uh, figure standing away from the rest, uh, just sort of watching the whole thing, who then be walks away towards the truck, gets in and begins to reverse away from all the soldiers wow. who are just being abandoned, standing here, firing down into it. Now, can I please get you to make a sanity roll as you see this thing begin to grab at stuff and pull them down into the darkness? Okay, just one point. I think to myself, hmm, that's a bad vibe. <laughs> that's yeah. no good. Yeah, a little, little sign of what's happening back home. Keep you involved. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Yikes. as you begin to, to wheel around, uh, keeping a, a watch as, as you see the, the truck head off, bound, uh, continuing sort of uh, like a wood intersect towards the center now as it goes uh, back in that direction. You wheel around and begin to head back towards where the others are when you see in the distance towards where the center should be if the calculations are right there's some uh like uh, you see trees shaking a bit and almost moving to like uh topple over uh around the sort of center region it's a little ways away do you want to head towards that or do you want to head back towards your party first no so i'll i'll uh, i found the second point i marked that on the map as best i can Look to where this a pill of dust came from the center. Seems so. The pentagram. It's more like Scribble. broken trees and things beginning to beginning to yeah. shake away. Yeah, scribbled out on the map as best I can as the well, legs. estimating 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 the distance. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, having seen what comes out of these holes, I'm now concerned about the hole that my friends are in. About your allies. So wheel straight back around. Okay. Without you. a landing gear, with a broken wheel. You champion. All right. Uh, you begin to swing back around and drive towards the others. Uh, as you uh, descend, you'll see more shaking towards the center. Um, and uh, as you're also getting closer, you see just on the horizon, there is another, uh, it's delayed and it's only when you're getting close to the others, there is another of uh, dust going up where something else has exploded in the distance and you begin to get lower. As you uh, buzz over trying to get a sense of the situation, you'll see Hubert hauling up from below, trying to drag Minnie up and out. Uh, you'll see uh, Lieutenant Carter firing down into the darkness behind. But given that uh, we are short Minnie, whose turn it is, and given we are approaching our deadline, we'll park things here so we can oh. pick up the escape from this elastic horror next time and head towards one of the other points and see if you can outpace the soldiers in their search for whatever lies deep inside the jungles. It'll be fine. She'll be It'll right. Be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Don't have a landing gear. But you've got a lot of grenades, so I think overall you came out on top of the session. I think, I think we <laughs> took that up as a win. All right, we fantastic. Hope. We got friend sheeps. We got good vibes. <laughs> um, just, got... Just... So for people who are concerned, very quickly, shock. we have a we have we do have a group chat in the background. It, it's a it's a it's a false fire alarm, so don't don't panic. It's shoddy wiring. Yes. But let's let's you be worried that MIDI is actually burning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, well, thank you all for watching and uh, thanks everyone for playing. We'll be back next week uh, to uh, continue this it's tale, true. and uh, yeah, we'll see you all then. Cheers. Bye.